Starfinders, and welcome back to another exhilarating evening of Space Flicks and Kill, part two of the On the Trail of History scenario. I am your host and GM for this evening, Krifu Bernal, my pronouns are he, him, and yeah, it's gonna be a good game. I really like this adventure, and I hope you will, I hope you have enjoyed it so far. Um, let's meet our cast, starting with Inez. Hi. Oh my god, you've caught me at my most vulnerable moment. <laughs> oh my god. Putting in some earrings, you know. <laughs> Glitch oh, in the matrix. Scandalized. Oh. <laughs> scandalized. You've opened my dressing room door. Anyways, um, uh, hi. My name is Inez. And uh, tonight, and for uh, the nights following this adventure, I will be playing Krizeth Fenvire, um, who uses she her pronouns, as do I. Um, she is a dragonkin soldier who is very calm and collected out of battle, and in battle is very loud and very prominent. So I hope you enjoy that. Thank you. Prominent. <laughs> I like that. Mm-hmm. Pan, what's up? Oh, hello, it's me, Pan. Um, I'll be playing Greylance today, um, tonight, rather, and as I said, for ongoing nights of playing Greylance in this adventure. Um, he and I both share uh, he they pronouns. Uh, he is a noir vanguard, which is like a rushed down paladin, and a noir is like a minotaur person. Um, he's an old soul, he, uh, he's not called Sword Dad for nothing. Um, his glory days are behind him, but he's happy to be out here on the field uh, helping these uh, young new Starfinders uh, along the way. You described it as yeah. a rushed down paladin? Rushed down, just so they get up front, get up in front of the enemy fast. Interesting. It's like fighting game time. Okay, okay, cool. Interesting. Yeah, rush the enemy down. Yeah. yeah. I guess I always thought of um, Solarian as like the Starfinder Paladin, but I could see the fan card, that whole um, entropy sort of business. Mm. Yeah, it's like a specific type. Anyway, yeah, it's something to think about. Um, hi, Hedgehog. <laughs> Hello, I'm Hedgehog, and uh, today I'm playing Alistair, the human scholar slash mechanic slash definitely not daddy type. Uh, going through a existential, possible midlife crisis, pretty much in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, Alistair can't be a daddy when he's the baby. <laughs> I mean, darling, you can't have it. Yeah, I mean, he's nearly he, <laughs> he's, he's, he's in his late twenties, so you know. <laughs> I think I'm making you actually the youngest of the party. He probably is the youngest of the party. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and speaking of space paladins and solarians and the brightest member of our party, hi Ida. I'm Ida, I pronounce her she and her, and I play Puka, the source of Alistair's traumas. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. One, one of the sources. Uh, the most recent source. So Puka, play, Puka is a Skittermander solarian, and the Skittermander is, um, imagine a six-armed Ewok with the sort of um, attitude that Stitch has, right? And aforementioned trauma is that uh, <laughs> Puka got a little cocky. Puka was doing amazingly well against the Hell Knight and got an arm numbed off. That's okay, Puka's okay. Some people aren't, but Puka's okay. <laughs> and the Salarian bit is that um, she has she's very friendly, ridiculously friendly. And uh, she's made, um, she has an affinity with this strange ephemeral eldritch alien being in the form of a glowing little, to her size, tennis ball over her left shoulder. And her good friend uh, sometimes uh, helps her out in battle. By sometimes, I mean all the time. Is it an alien? It's something. Creature? Did it come from an egg? Did it come from an egg? Absolutely important question. Did it come from an egg? Did Puka? No. <laughs> no, I think Skinner no are mammals. <laughs> no glowy. Well, well, if you consider 
all mammals and stuff who are came from uh, an egg and then sperm came in and they all kind of came from eggs there was just no just no hard shell uh-huh sure <laughs> now i'm having an existential crisis hang, you know <laughs> hang on i'm sort of roll life science that's to why see, you're see a chick figure this out. <laughs> that's why you're a chick get out of here uh. yeah. is it, is a chick? Uh. look at her i mean <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. It's the most moment. Me and my imaginary hair. <laughs> <laughs> Which I did earlier, just retweet. Ines is my strong mommy. <gasps> you know, <laughs> you know, not strong yet. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bodybuild. Me. <clears throat> Look at that. So, that's fine. <laughs> So, uh, yes, this is the second part of the On the Trail of History. Last time, our crew uh, was given a mission to investigate a far-flung far flung planet out in the vast um, and discovered that this planet is the location of a, from their, their you know, a friend, associate, contact, Icris, um, a symbiote, half-elf, half-elf and symbiote thing. Um, that there is a company called the Frost Trove. That yes, Frost Trove. Yes. Um, that has a, a, a research station out here. But upon coming out, all they've heard so far is the name Winter Harvest. They first met the leader of this research outpost, a Verthani woman named Dr. Monsilkis. Um, but their conversation was rudely interrupted when they were attacked by an unknown alien spaceship. I mean, I guess we're all aliens here, but like this was for real something that isn't on any records. Nobody has any idea who they are or where they came from. This was alien for How, the aliens. Yeah. How dare like, they not have the information on them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's great. That's just rude. Rude. Honestly. Mm. But they landed after defeating their foe and met with Dr. Monsilkis and her um, head of uh, engineering and her head of security, a Rhyphorian named Spinjack and a a uh, white-scaled dragonkin woman named Farvenzi, who happens to be Krizith's ex-best friend. Yes. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Well, nothing. <laughs> yeah, nothing. nothing. It's a good time. It's fine, you know. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. Um, a good time is had by all. It, it, it might be. We'll have to find out on tonight's episode. <laughs> so, let's get into it. The camera opens on a snow-covered scene. We can see uh, several outposts of this research lab on a, the planet called Icefront. Um, we see a small group sort of walking in between these things. Uh, they are our, our heroes and their chaperones, as it were. Um, and we can see four different areas. We see what looks like large greenhouses. We can see um, per uh, semi-permanent sh like shelters where mm -hmm. many Rhyphorians are sort of walking in between them. Um, we can see the laboratories, sort of these like white domed uh, structures. Um, and then outside of the, the, the research base is a scaffold tower, which is a climate manipulation device. So as we come to, Dr. Monsilkis is explaining all of this. Yes, yes, she has these glasses and a, like the cybernetic jaw. So uh, as I've mentioned, we are uh, doing research for the Winter Harvest Nonprofit Corporation. Um, uh, attempting to I saw this earlier <laughs> hide relics from us 
Aha, yes, yes, uh, we're looking to optimize seasonal agriculture on Triaxis. Um, but I've been hired, of course, to lead a 10-year study um, on genetic to genetically enhance Triaxian plants using resources from this planet, Icefront, because it has a similar orbit. Um, she's speaking uh, uh, to Alistair, um, mm. who is probably one of the only people... Not the only part. Understands. Not, yeah, I mean, who cares? <laughs> who cares? We may, we may all understand. And, 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 it, but... and, and that's pushing it a little bit. It's outside of his area of interest. But he's being polite. Um, <clears throat> behind them are the chaperones, uh, the lar large white scale dragonkin, and the blue furred Rhyforian man. Um, and then the rest of the party sort of brings up the rear where Grey Lance and Krizith have been discussing life bonding. Yes. Is that what it's called? Life bonding? Because no. mommy and daddy are getting together. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting together, Puka. We just, we just tactical advantage. It's called partner bonding. There we go. Partner bond. Yes. So we've, um, yeah, so, um, Krizeth has, uh, yeah, pulled Grey Lens to the side and talked about this. We've talked about this last session for the, I mean, for the people who weren't there. Um, we saw Farvenzi and what Spin is his Jack. name again? Spinjax. We saw, them doing the same thing of like having a telepathic bond and that all of a sudden reminded me that I don't have someone like that yet which I was planning to do for this for this group but didn't really know who yet and now that I've played a little more I think it's a good <laughs> idea that I'm <laughs> that I've chosen Greylands to uh, become uh, uh, my partner bond um and so we talked about it a little bit, about how uh, how this might be a tactical advantage, um, and just be nice all around for the group. Um, and I don't know if so. Okay, so if we're talking about this in character, she goes. I don't know if I want to do it here and now. It does require some kind of ritual. Right, like a like a bonding ceremony. Yes. It it it's not very big. It's not like we're building a pyre and dancing around it, but um uh it's I'll explain later. Um Sure. I mean, look. This is all very new to me and honestly quite fast but i trust you and uh i'm proud to have you fight by my side so i'm in whatever you need good we will talk about it once we are done here all right uh, just one thing do we have to invite the others like is it like uh you gotta invite <laughs> family and stuff or i just don't want to we don't have to they, they can right. be there if they want to but um just like and if you want something to, then... You don't have to send an invite. Okay, I was just, look, I just want to make sure this is done, you know, right. Uh, you know, it's, it's my first partner bonding. Um, I assume it's yours. So I just want to make sure we do something. Yeah, I'm going to get back to the others. Yes, it will be your first and only partner bonding. It's <laughs> just sweats and, and good job. Back, so <laughs> <clean> <laughs> And she doesn't know why you're sweating, but <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, of course. <laughs> As uh -huh. you're you're catching up, uh, Doctor Monsilkis turns to Alistair and Puka, and she says, "Well, yes. Uh, what part of the station would you like to see first? Is there like a door that says private personnel only? Because Puka would be pointing <laughs> to that." <laughs> <laughs> Warning! Big secret door. <laughs> we've got the, I, I, the, we've got the greenhouses, the housing shelters, the laboratories, and the scaffold tower. Um, 
if you if there's a place where you want to like go somewhere the most private places would be the the housing shelters most mm. likely i mean hydrate oh it's a hydrate time already it? It. <laughs> ow Ring for your mouth, not the teeth. Is that a Contigo water bottle? Oh, it because is. you're thirsty. <laughs> I have a bigger one, but this is my baby. <laughs> not sponsored, uh. Contigo. Please sponsor because I can say so many nice things about you. Anyway, um... I'll see what I can do. <laughs> huh? I, I have good points I at have. the private person out, private door. Mark the doors are private. I, the, baby, don't be so obvious. Luca has this um, huge cheeky grin on her face <laughs> to everyone that's looking at her. I I suppose the laboratory would do. I mean, it's a, it, I mean, quick question. So obviously Alice is talking to the doctor and the other two are basically, from what I gathered, watching him like a hawk because she's been like, oh yeah, you can have a tour and they don't appreciate it. So I think what Alice is going to try and do is try and keep the attention on him so that the other members aren't necessarily being watched as closely. Um, okay. okay. So kind of like whenever, whenever someone tries to like get close, like drags them forward a little bit or goes to do something that looks like a little bit suspicious and then pulls away from it so that they get, they get alerted for a second. Um, Make a yeah. bluff or diplomacy oh. check. Diplomacy. Let's have a look. Not too bad at that, I think. Uh, that's 26. 26. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Sorry, I just need a little notepad. <laughs> there we go. Um, yes, yes, the laboratory, of course, of course, Mon Monsilga sort of uh, brings you in that direction, leaving you open, Puka, if you want to dart into one of the sh housing shelters and see what you can see. Can I pick a pocket for, like, a key card? <laughs> yes. I'd like to do that. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and roll a uh, sleight of hand. I think I'm good at that. Just kidding, I'm good at that. <laughs> I think I can pickpocket people. I think. I love that you said I think. I know. That's a 29. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you are very good at it. Um. Okay. So as they, they start walking towards the... Oh, who are you pickpocketing from? From one of our people here or from a random Rhyphorian walking around? I, I guess from the people giving us the tour because I assume that uh, as I, I, they seem pretty high up, I think their access card goes pretty high up too. Okay. Okay. Uh, so which one do you want to take it from? Uh, <laughs> who is likely to have the yummiest thing? Monsilkis, Fervency, or... You know what? The lead scientist, I think, is... Uh... No, I want to grab a phone for Avenzi because they seem the most. Uh, we we've caught some um, mixed signals from them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's Just been staring daggers at Krizith. Perfect. Okay. No one stares daggers at my mommy. <laughs> <laughs> my God. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you are quite. I mean, twenty twenty nine. Yeah, high, very high. Um, <laughs> quite easily able to just sort of pull the uh, card off of off of her and make your way to the, the housing shelters um, very easily able to get in um, you can see that these shelters are modest but cozy um, they seem to be well decorated people have settled in for the long haul uh, Dr. Munsuckles did mention this is a 10-year program mm -hmm. you can see that several people so you're looking at rooms and offices and stuff Several of them have advanced degrees from elite universities. Um, these aren't just 
you know, people who need a job. These these are, are high-end scientists who have been specifically recruited for this work. Um, and, you're, you know, you're also starting to see some rooms and off, uh, from, from security guards as well. And you would note that they have very expensive personal devices. You see, like, a huge hollow projector in, like, a common room that you know is, like, super pricey. They've got, like, a tier three culinary synthesizer, which, like, does foie gras and caviar and shit. Um, so, yeah, it's looking... Do these people have money. Are you looking for anything specific? Mm. Well, I want to find dirt and secrets, but I need to be more specific. Um. Oh, wait. Uh, they were financed by the company. Ah, what was it? The bad one. Not the bad one. CEO. Rostrove or Winter Harvest. Winter Harvest is the nonprofit that Monsokas keeps talking about. Frozen Trove. Frozen Trove. Excuse Frozen me. Trove. Yeah, I want to find out what Frozen Trove. Um... You know what? I want to find out if um, Araldio has given like specific orders to someone. Ooh. What is the CEO saying in the non-public memos to the company? Okay. Um, What's that work chat called? What's he Slack. saying in the WhatsApp? What's he saying in the Slack? Yeah, He's there, saying yeah. in the PMs. The PMs. How are your computer Ooh. skills? Oh, they're shit. Do you have any? No. Okay. <laughs> I know. Absolutely not. Alistair, how do I do a hacking? <laughs> I don't think he's there. Sort of there going, uh, yeah. uh, 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 this is like trying to whisper commands. Um, oh God, no! You, you're not going to be able to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could just you could just smash keys on the keyboard and see where you go. Um, after all, you are holding um, Bob NC's access card. You are plus. We we scored really high on the culture check previously, mm. which allows us to do untrained skill checks. At plus four, isn't it? Mm-hmm. With the plus four, because we got all that juicy info last time. Oh, you're right. <laughs> okay, we can try. All right, you find um, Farvenzi's personal laptop. You get into her room. Oh, she's with the, gonna hate me. You get into the, her room with the key card. <laughs> you see um, a whole bunch of pictures of like. Uh, uh, white scaled dragons and like uh, there's one picture of her like as a young dragon guard um, and she's got like her, her arm around a familiar looking form whose face has been like vigorously scratched mm. That's what saying, yeah, it's like a whole... <laughs> <laughs> um, bitch put that in frame and I just like <laughs> oh. oh my god um, so go ahead and roll computers with the plus four <laughs> plus your intelligence. Oh, which is also not good. Okay. This is really funny. Okay, wait. Plus four would be 18 plus intelligence. That's it. I 18 total. 18? Yeah. That's pretty total. sick still. Hmm. Yeah. Alistair would be proud if he was there. Um, uh, it's not enough. This is, these are very professional, like, uh, machines. Um, and her, her, her password's super hard to guess. Because that's oh, basically... Come on. I'm, gonna, I'm going to keep the laptop then. Okay. <laughs> it goes into, it goes, like, inside my armor on the back. Okay. I'm going to need... Oh, come on, the password isn't that hard. It's, I hate Chris, it's <laughs> One, two, three. That's it. Um... Greylance and Krizith, you've you've seen Puka sort of sneak off, letting her do her thing. Um, you're probably most likely following Alistair to the laboratories. Yes. Uh, as you're being led through the laboratories, you can see habitats for animal research and various computer desktops with um, uh, lots of information on them. You can see some like researchers, like you know. Uh, uh, very steadfastly typing away um, and 
Yes. So we've got a few different things we can do here. Uh, Monsilkus is explaining how they're, yes, well, we're, we're just trying to understand the natural fauna here and see just you know how things work on this planet, trying to get a basis of understanding here. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, it's a very, very big laboratory. I mean, it could take a very, very long time to explore it all as a group. Um, but anyway, um, at, at that point, I think Gaz is going to like walk over to one of the uh, spare computer consoles and just start typing on it, uh, making it look like he's trying to access stuff, and then sort of stop halfway and go, "Oh, ooh, sorry, I can't help myself." I, any time I go near a computer, it's like I have to open it and go, "Ah!" Immediately Again, trying to draw the attention. All right, make a bluff check for this one. Ah, oh, I love this, Alistair. <laughs> God. Just absolutely just fucking up everybody's shit. <laughs> just to get everyone's attention. Love that. Mm. Twenty. I know someone like that. Twenty. <laughs> um immediately Spin Jack mm. like comes over. The Riforian man is um he's wearing a pretty good like technological armor. Mm. Um, you immediately identify uh, his, that his, he's got an exocortex installed yeah. in his neck. Uh, very much like you in your eye. Um, hmm. uh, and a, 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 has, like he's got several weapons on him, which is interesting hmm. considering that he's like the lead mechanic engineer here. Hmm. Um, uh, maybe uh, I think it's time for... Uh, doctor, we should be helping these people on their way, shouldn't we? And she sort of nods. Grey Lance and uh, Chrisith, what, what were you doing in the meantime? Just so you have a chance to explore before these people kick you out. <laughs> what were we doing in that? Were we following them? We were following, yeah, we were following on behind Alistair. Um, we noticed Puka um, dart off. So Alistair's attempts to like stall for time, uh, we should probably help them. Although I'm gonna actually quickly radio to Puka. Um, Hey, kid, you found anything? Yeah. I'm going to, um, I'm going to go act a little lost. Maybe nick some food. Okay. You know how it is. Yeah, uh, operation, but... operation, adorable, adorable, silly, and doesn't know any better teddy bear. That operation gets us in trouble every time, kid, but... I love okay. it. It's my favorite one. You do, you bite. Oh, she hung up. Okay. All right. Look, uh, Chris is, if Alice doesn't get kicked out of here, Puka's probably going to do this, just that. So we should uh, we should try and smooth things over and figure out where this uh, artifact is, right? If they even have it. Where do we start with such questioning? Well... As you ask that question, <laughs> there's oh an animal habitat like cage right next to you where you can see this like six limbed bunny rabbit sort of just like they all the creatures here have six limbs you're you're getting the the sense is it six or four i think it's that, that's not a thing you're just putting in there that's in the, in the TV. no this planet the, <laughs> that's the, the way that uh, uh the native fauna are sort of built everything has six arms <laughs> yeah they have they have two hind legs then two like arms that they stand on like like gorillas right and oh, then okay. two and then two arms to hold things with right. uh, like, cool. i'm sorry i'm confusing it the izalgun had six limbs mm. this is just like a little rabbit with four limbs got it <laughs> all uh, right yeah i'm Why so sorry you away from us i was i was invested <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this it's, fine. it's a, a little rabbit with four limbs, and it is sickly, and it is just like, and it's um like pawing at its cage towards like a bowl of leafy greens, and it looks like. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just gonna feed it. <laughs> I'll push uh, yeah. the bowl closer. Yeah. Make a survival or life science or medicine check. Why? And you can do him untrained now with the plus fours. Excuse me. So it was what? 
It was life survival? science nature. Survival, life science, or medicine? Or medicine? Okay, I'm gonna go with Girl. <laughs> I mean, let's see, right? Girl, girl, I don't know. Girl, <laughs> I have nothing of these things. Nothing of the sort. Well, yeah, I know you can four, do them. Un I know you can do them un untrained, but it'll be a plus three because of my minus one. So, <laughs> so roll good. <laughs> Yikes! Okay, I'll roll. <laughs> I'll roll. I'll roll the survival. Okay. <laughs> Eight. Krizith has no <laughs> clue. I have no idea what's going on. He has no idea how to push a bowl of greens closer to him. <laughs> no, yeah, no idea. Greylance, as you push it closer, you see the, the, the bunny's eyes like get wide. It starts like gnawing at the cage. You feel like oh, this, oh. this bunny's like addicted to the plants. Ooh, that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I leave it just out of reach. I was like, what exactly did you say you were working on in here, uh, Doc? Oh, we've been um, uh, working on uh, gen b plant modifications. Right. Trying to oh. keep make make the agriculture easier on Triaxis by, of course, uh, practicing here on Ice Front. See, I understand that, and it does sound honourable. But I can't help but notice that this bunny seems to be, uh, how you say, jonesing for for your product, as it were. <clears throat> uh, Spin Jack says, like I said, ma'am, <laughs> I think it's time we help these people on their way. Uh, and Farvenzi sort of nods and, like, literally comes up behind Krizith. And she says, I think it's time for you to leave. Who, how tall um, is she to Krizith, actually? She's a little bit taller. <laughs> <laughs> of course she is, you piece of shit. Um, I would like to turn around to her, and I'll just go, fine. Like, almost mm -hmm. trying to, like, spit in her face. She relishes it. Um, well, yes, uh, I suppose, uh, Spin Jack, you might be right. Although, I did want to ask... Uh, what do you know anything about that starship that accosted you in the orbit of the planet? Unfortunately, mm. no. There was no record of it on any data drive or any database. Um, I wish I could tell you more. I really would, but unfortunately, it decided to self-destruct and leave nothing behind. How unfortunate. Maybe, it, maybe, Spin Jack says, it has something to do with why you're here. And he begins leading you towards the exit. What do you know of why we are here? Uh, well, actually, we, we don't know what it is you have come here for. It's something with star finders, I think. I look to Greylands. Uh, yeah, Grand Theft Ford. We had it on good authority that there would be a uh, an item on this planet that would help us to locate the missing scoured the missing scoured stars uh we came here in good faith that we could uh hopefully work together to locate this item for the good of the uh packed worlds wasn't aware we'd be meeting with such hostility from a uh charitable organization not just from them <laughs> i look towards uh, towards farvinzi she elbows you as she like walks past you. <laughs> I elbow her back harder. <laughs> she elbows you back even harder. <laughs> the two of you are just el elbow fighting. No, eventually I decide to be the bigger She's trying person. Trying to not look around. Not literally, <laughs> but figuratively. Um, as you step outside, I... two Rhyphorians are sort of like bringing Puka, who's munching on something. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I hope I would have found like someone's space equivalent of granola bars. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Oh, and love that. So like if any, the, the, with the ruse being like this cheeky uh, skittermander is just 
raiding our, uh, our our food stores. Oh my goodness, how how rude, how impolite! Nothing further nefarious than these. You're like, oh, 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 oh. you found some <laughs> Sunrise Peak bars uh, that are very, very, very crumbly. You're leaving like a trail oh. of crumbs. Mm-hmm. I just, I think I go. Oh, book. There you are. I thought we lost you. Have you been raiding people's food again? I got hungry. Um, you you want <laughs> some? Okay. No, so thank crumb you. fell down. I'm no, I am good. Um, I look to the two Rifforians, um, th- th- like being like, she's all right, and I'll like take <laughs> take Puka with me uh, under su- my wing. I suppose, Doctor Monsilka says, you could do to speak with the the the, the native population here, the Izalguns. Uh, they're, they're simple, primitive, but they might have information for you. It is interesting how every other mammalian species on this planet has four appendages, and they have six, but um, there's no time. I'm busy with my six work. Six better than four. <laughs> yes, uh, I'm sure, and eight <laughs> might even work has eight as well. Rooms. Yes. <laughs> Um, if you are looking for them, uh, you could go through the nearby forest, just past the uh, tower, the scaffold tower. Um, through the forest, to, there's a nearby encampment a few hours beyond the scaffold tower. But you shouldn't have any trouble. These Algoons, much like the native wildlife on this planet, are quite peaceful. It is calm enough. We'll do that. Thank you for your Party. hospitality. Yeah, these were good. Mm-hmm. Um, Farvenzi sort of like leans over. We'll be um keeping an eye on your ship for you. That's why the other shit works. My thanks. Your hospitality is the only thing that hasn't changed. Of course. We wouldn't want to offend the Starfinder Society now, would we? You'd best not. Farewell. (laughs) What a familiar sight. (laughs) Krizith walking away. Come on, come on, come on, Chris. Come on, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye. <laughs> the ambient noise of the research station fades into the distance, muffled by the snow. The path to the trees, their long branches and fan like fronds coated in white, is still and serene. Thanks to the preparations of Alistair before we took off, you are warm and the snowfall is not providing any is not providing any concealment mm. to your vision. Lee. Knew these snow goggles are a good idea. <laughs> uh, I think right, well. that once we're like half at least half an hour, it's like, hey Alistair, can you hack and walk? I can try if someone stands in front of me so I can follow them. And hold out a laptop. <laughs> and I will be in front of him, pointing my tail at him. <laughs> okay. Sure um, follow that. I'll take the laptop and try and get into it. Is the key card like a USB stick? Is that an actual key for machines as well or just for doors? Yeah, I still a, have that. It's just a fob for doors. Mm. I still mine. And uh, and then I also kind of like waggle my eyebrows at Crisis and I pull out the frame. The, the, with the photo of a uh, mm. of, of Arenzi mm. and Crisis. Wait, you show that to me? Yep. I take it. We can do something cathartic if you want. Target practice. 
uh, space racket, immolation. I don't understand. Her loss, big time. I know that. I just don't understand why she hates me so. Some people are petty. And some people hold grudges for a very long time for reasons that are totally illogical to anyone but the person themselves. Hedgehog, make a computer's check. Uh, I did it while you were talking. Uh, <laughs> so I get plus four from... Uh, that will make it... 35. 35. Okay, so Farenzi, of course, is head of security. Um, you're going through everything. And you discover that the frozen trove, uh, mm -hmm. the... Of course, Winter Harvest is a front uh, company. Mm -hmm. Very obvious. Um, Frozen Trove has this very strict policy for security detail at um, what it refers to as clandestine outposts, mm -hmm. which is what this 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 is this is yeah. um, that unexpected visitors must be executed and disposed of as of, as quickly and cleanly as possible. Excuse me? This is a, a command coming down from the mm. CEO himself. And they hired the aliens to do it. Wow. Oh my god. Wait. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean... That is insane. That is one possibility, but the fact that we made it out of there alive in one piece suggests that something else is in play here. No, We're that we're better. Something. In yeah, <laughs> that's what it suggests. We're just well, better. This no, this su suggests that the second we land, we should have been shot. Or hang on a minute, and you sort of see Alice just turns around, expecting to be followed um, by someone. Are we being um, followed? Can I check that? Uh, you do not think you're being followed, mm. um, uh, ha Alistair. In your notes, you will also see that mm. the doctor is. Dr. Monsilkis is um, to be kept out of the loop as much as possible mm -hmm. so that she can focus okay. on her work. Oh, I got the right laptop. You did get the, the perfect laptop. <laughs> yeah. So Farenzi essentially is running this by proxy. Um, she and Spinjack, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I think we're going to get shot when we go back for our ship. I, I'm willing to put my entire my entire annual teaching salary on it yeah um, i'd probably what is the same your salary that is not mine mm -hmm. uh also yeah. definitely they put a booby trap the ship so we should be careful of that yes careful. tracking devices I... on our ship for sure mm. something I tells can't... me the only reason we got down with any problems is because that doctor really wants to know about that ship that attacked us mm. in the distance the sound of branches snapping shatters your conversation, and a guttural mix of roar and moans echo through the woods. You can see. Bless you. <laughs> you. You can see like huge looming figures, like kind of moving mm. through the trees, and uh, yeah, you hear stuff going on. All right. Um, I'd grab Puka back and into a formation so we're all like guard each other's backs. I, you... I, I put a pull out glowy and I'm like, hello. <laughs> you make your preparations. Glowy is out. And I will move you over. <laughs> No, no combat. Not with what? the native species. <laughs> what? No. Is what is that? This thing we are fighting. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Can the audience see this? Uh, yeah, soon. <laughs> so, you four run into a clearing where you see three Izalguns with. I can't fight these. With spears. <laughs> the Izalguns are large. 
They're just as big as Krizith. And there are also wow. three sloth-like uh, monsters, uh, beasts here that are huge. They're like 20 feet tall and 15 feet long. Um, uh, I didn't have imagery for it. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. Perfect. So it's just like a huge little sloth, sloth with a turtle thing on it. Yeah. It's beautiful. I love it. How are we meant to fight this? Um, what am I meant to fight it? Before I blow them away. So, yes, you can see these uh, Izalgons struggling with these these creatures here. Um, oh God, the map is such an awkward shape. I'm having trouble showcasing it on the... There we go. <laughs> uh, please roll initiative, everyone. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> and, and we know that these are the native species. Like, it's not a surprise to us. Yes, yes. Maybe you, we, we know we don't have to be it. hostile yeah. to them, but to the... Slothter. You've seen the picture of the Zalgons before. Mm. Uh, I got a 14. I got a uh, 13. We can... Oh no, we haven't done the ritual yet. Got it. Yikes. Not yet. Oh, a bad roll. <laughs> Nine for Futa. Uh, it's a bad roll. roll. Initiative is not a skill check in uh, Pathfinder. They get the plus four. No, sorry. Okay, I tried. Uh, that was a what was it? A nine for Grey Lance? Fourteen. Fourteen. Sorry. Uh, Puka had a nine. Puka had a nine. Um, Chrisuth. Yes. Chrisuth. Thirteen. And Alistair. Uh, eight. Eight. So then I need initiativos. Oh. Okay. I feel very uncomfortable about, like, do they eat these really cute animals or what? How does this work? Probably. <laughs> I'm not as That's cute true. as they look. They're fucking giant. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to get eaten by the cute animal otherwise? Yeah. No, no, I, I guess not. Mm, no, no, we shouldn't. All right. at, at this point, Alice is thinking an awful lot like what it's like to be Puka, because all the everyone around him is now basically either larger or even larger. <laughs> Fucking huge. And you think this is a bad thing? It's great. <laughs> so it. the the Izalguns have immediately Grey Lance, you're first. Um you can see that the Izalguns have like these satchels that are like filled with this th these green leaves that they've been collecting here. Um, and they've got these, they, they each have a, a spear in their hands, and they're all on all fours. Um, they're on all fours, and they have two hands to hold. Like centaurs. Yes. Um, as the Megzaloths <laughs> uh, are bearing down upon them. What do you do? Oh, uh, God. Okay, firstly, um, I want to get up to these... Um... Uh, these fellas here, the hunters, I assume. Yep. To signal that we are we are friendly. Okay. What are they trying? What are they trying to do? It seems like attack this thing or make a survival check. Yeah. With a plus sure. four bonus. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um. Seventeen. Seventeen. Uh. It, they don't look like they're hunting them. They, the Azalgons look like they're defending themselves from the from these attacks. Okay, okay, um, right. So, gonna get in there with these guys. Um, don't know if you speak common. <laughs> Just like run through a couple of languages. How can we help? Um, they they turn, um, and in common, one of them says. We don't understand. They they attacked out of nowhere, and what you can see is it talks. It's moving its mouth, like whoa, <laughs> gotcha. like that. yeah, like a like a child's fat. Yeah, All right. that's crazy. But it's picture perfect common that they're speaking. Excellent. <laughs> we should make a how can we help with you two? Okay, cool. Gonna call back to the others. Um, guys, remember we saw. That... <sighs> But right, guys, that rabbit from earlier, I think some of the fauna around is trying to eat, well, whatever the Raphorians, not Raphorians, sorry, the Ixa. Izalgun. 
Is Alga. Whatever the Izalga has been, have been uh, growing. We need to help them defend their crops. We, we, we didn't grow these. Oh, okay. That's not right then. Stand down. <laughs> uh, Grey Lance, go ahead and move your token. And then you've got a standard action, and then we need to move on. We've used a lot of conversation. Cool. That's, that's it. That's, I'll take the whole, that's my whole action. I'll take it out. Okay. But make sure you move your stuff up. Why don't you move it? Really? Mm. There we go. Huh, Great. Interesting. Okay. I'm up here with these guys here. Interesting. Okay. Krizith, you're next. Oh, God. Um. Do I have like a breath weapon or something? I do, right? Um. <laughs> You're conflicted. Right? Where is it? I thought I did. Don't I have a breath breath attack? Yes, yes, I do. Thirty foot cone. One d six plus seven. One d six plus seven f. Free freeze damage. Fire. Oh. Um, I think I would like to. Oh God, where did the tab go? <laughs> <laughs> this. Um, let's see. Uh, this is that. That's kind of far. Um, if I go over there and then I do that, no, that's like no. So, and I have twenty-five feet of movement. Do I? Yeah. I'm just gonna move 25 feet twice. Oh God, I think the whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna move 25 feet twice. Okay. Flying. Oh sure. <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh. So 25 foot plus 25 foot is 50 foot. So over there. All right. How high up in the air are you? Um, thirty feet up in the air. Damn. Okay. Like, yeah, I've I've gone like a, like a like a slope upwards. Oh my god! I now need to remember where. Oh, okay. I see. I I can I can do that. There we go. Okay, Puka. Hi. So just remind me, our new friends have spears. They don't have any other. Weaponry that they can I can see at range. Uh, no. Okay, so they're sitting decks. Well, cool. they have bows. They have bow and arrows. Mm. One, two, one, two, three, four. Right. Two, three, four, five. All right, everyone. Uh, one more. Okay, everyone, come stand back. Come on, we got this. We'll help you out. It's okay. And in her, um, she's going to mean very well. But uh, since Glowy mm -hmm. was out, she's going to pull her arm, both arms out. And she's going to just sort of, they're both going to glow because Glowy's going to go on her shoulders. And she's going to like force pull everyone within, if everyone uh, 25 feet away, 15 feet towards me. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm using the black hole uh, skill a Solarian has. Oh, damn. Uh, that is where. Do you need to be fully attuned for that one? Yeah. Yes. I'm not fully attuned. Fully why graviton why attuned. So every round, you need to have at least three rounds of combat. Oh, I had no idea it was a mechanic. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> Rewind. Uh, recon, because I had no idea what I think. They were going to shoot, because I had glowy out. Reach out? Yeah, sure. Okay. Shoot it. Uh, range 40 feet. Shoot oh, I can't reach anything. But I cannot. Uh, take a minus two. <laughs> take a minus two yeah, when you you're can. out of range. Okay. That one. That one over there. That one over there. That one over there. That is going to be... I'll shoot just... Once. Minus two, you said. Does a 26 hit? Yes. 
Cool. Nice. Uh, which one are you attacking? The middle one, please. Okay. Let me roll some damage. That is going to be 1d4 plus 5. Full damage. Nine damage. Nice. Nice. Nine damage. Yep. They're hurting you. They're being bad. <laughs> you got this. Tell us what to do. Alistair. That's my turn. <laughs> um, let me have a look. Can I see that one there? The middle one from where I am? Yes, yes. Okay. In that case, I'm not going to move. I'm going to use my move action to activate my exocortex and activate target tracking on it. Um, so while active, it basically relays vulnerabilities, uh, combat data to my exocortex for this uh, creature. Uh, it allows me to swap out my uh, attack bonus for my number of mechanics levels. Uh, instead of using my base. So I'm going to use that. Um, and then I'm going to attack with my rail gun, uh -oh. uh, which is uh, it's beyond range. Um, but I have far shots, so I take a negative one as opposed to negative two um, in it. Uh, so it will be a plus five for this attack. Give me a second. I'll tell you if it hits. Sixteen. Uh, what kind of damage does it do? Uh, P. Uh, it does not hit. It bounces off the no. big shell on its back. Oh bugger! Um, and that's all Asta can do. Um, the two Ezalcoons around you, they sort of look at each other, and the the one uh, that was speaking first um, turns to you, Grey Lance, and, and pulls out the leaf. This plant. You say they are addicted? Just a theory, but they don't look like they're not bothered by it. Um, it, it sort of takes the, the 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 whole bag that it has like off of it, um, and will kind of on all four uh, with the, its four limbs down. Will will sort of like move up to. Uh, the uh, my speed should be a little bit, be more than twenty feet right now. Hmm. Uh, we'll go. We'll move up. Here and like kind of wave the the bag, and throws it. Right, smart. So that it appears. 5, 10, 15, like right here. Then the other two will follow their the lead, their lead. Um, this one will go here and throw a bag. I lean back to Alistair. I really hope this works. I did not really have any other value. Oh, that's not there. I guess the Puka then. <laughs> I really hope this works. I knew vegetables were bad. We'll throw it oh, here. You should eat your vegetables. <laughs> And this one will kind of move up and, and throw it here. Vegetables were fed. And indeed, the Megzaloths spend their next turn sort of moving up. Um, five. They got 30 feet. They can also climb. Of course they can. Five, 10, 15, <laughs> 20. Uh, and they, they move up and begin like you know pu like putting their ripping the bags open with their their sh huge sharp claws rending them um and greedily oh. eating the leaves you can see their their cute sloth eyes um very much wide like that rabbit was gray lance round two oh <gasps> kill the vegetables kill the vegetables <laughs> right so these guys have been have been picking these vegetables from the trees nearby or what uh, from the trees behind you, or you kind of ran through like a little grove. Right. Okay. I'm just. Can I roll like a like a like a something just to figure out what this guy's like wants to do? Wants to take these things out? They just want to get away? Are they trying to escape? What's, what do they what do they want? Make a sense motive. Cool. Sense motive. Do I get plus four on that? Sure. Oh, thank you. 
It's okay. Only because you, you figured out the addictive thing. We're out of the research station, so none of that should be uh, working anymore. Right. Oh, my bad. That's okay. Um, it's okay. 23. 23. They were definitely here to investigate these leaves. Okay. Okay. So that, okay. You know what it is? I got, I got two hooked up in the thing. I'll do it. Okay. Alright, do you guys want these things taken out or just left alone? They they look over and we should go. Okay. Lead the way. Okay. Okay, we'll come out of initiative. Uh if you guys don't mind. Mm-hmm. Uh Absolutely. the Izalgun lead you they take this chance to um to run mm. uh, uh, and lead you to a nearby encampment. I think because Alice is quite close to that one tree, I think he's gonna quickly run up to it, grab one of those leaves, like just the one, and then pocket it and run back with everybody else. Okay, yeah, uh, like they, they sort yeah. of go back the, the the way you came, and mm. you can definitely you know grab a, a few samples for sure. Okay, great. Um, uh, as they lead you off. You can see a group of Izalguns coming to approach you, um, and one of them being sort of, um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Led by a particularly tall and proud Izalgun, um, who definitely, like, there's, there's something, and they all sort of, like, as she approaches, they all, um, Kind of like stand up on their hind legs um and taking their middle ones sort of pound them on the ground as like a sign of respect uh and she she says ah, and she says i'm i'm i am glad to see that you are safe but who are these people well, um uh, oh uh, sorry we We've been sent by Starfire Society. There's a there's an item on this planet we've been sent to find. We ran some of your um asshole God, neighbors. Yeah, yeah, basically what she said. <laughs> we ran into your asshole neighbors uh in the research facility. You are not with the research station? Absolutely not. You were in the starship battle that occurred recently. Yeah. yeah. How did, did you, they know that? How did you I mean, know that? pretty high up in space. Come with us. I mean, our landing wasn't exactly quiet. Let's see what let's see what they've got to say. Please follow me. Okay. Says, yeah, follow along. She leads you to a hilly clearing. Um, the ground is peppered with both temporary shelters and permanent ones, resembling uh, earthen ziggurats. You can see more Izalgun um, populating the camp, wielding primitive-looking tools and wearing animal furs. Um, mm. you, you recognize the Megzaloth fur pattern that they're that mm. some of them are wearing. Um, as you're sort of looking around, if you like, you can roll culture, engineering, or perception. Oh, spoil us, Griffin. Ah, well. <laughs> Only because you spoil me. No. That's cool. Culture, diplomacy, or. Culture, engineering, or oh, perception. Engineering. Uh, I got a 19 mm. for perception. 20 for culture. Okay, anyone else? Well, 24. Uh, a, 24. Uh, 30, <laughs> 32 engineering. <laughs> 32 engineering. Um, Absolutely not. Uh, Alistair, <laughs> you're looking at these buildings. Uh, or, okay, actually, so let me start. Uh, Puka, as you're looking at the layout of the building, you're noticing that the layout is subtly, subtly sophisticated. You can tell they're optimizing visibility, accessibility, and defensibility. This is uh, really smart. And... Alistair, as you're sort of, we're sort of walking by and you're seeing some of them like crafting, sort of hammering mm -hmm. some spearheads. Um, although it, it is archaic in appearance, you're noticing that a lot of the gear that they're wearing and using and building with um, mm. 
looks like it's laced with polycarbons or other advanced synthetics. Okay, I was definitely you're, not expecting that. Your asshole neighbors have you all wrong. <laughs> I have to apologize. I like we, that so much. Yeah, we we were completely um, lied to. Uh, your situation seems. I'm so happy. Yeah. I mean, is... how do you even begin to manipulate polycarbons without this? I mean, the the amount of machinery we need back at Absalon Station to do this is insane. The elder who you realize you're now um she introduces herself as narma with two a's narma she just sort of lo like looks at you and nods and then um leads you into an underground chamber beneath one of the ziggurats which is heated and illuminated using electricity Well, that explains a lot. Color me impressed. What? What is it that you said you came here for? She turns to you um, as we sort of come down, and uh, another Izalgun um, comes mm. forward and, and serves you all some some very nice tea that warms you very nicely on the insides. Charming. Uh, we came here looking for an artifact, something to help us discover the whereabouts of the Scour Stars. She's listening, and you can see her her, her mouth like open mm. and then close, as if second guessing herself or not wanting to reveal too much. We... I know we're close. Like, I, I narrowed it down based on energy signatures to around here. But then again, if you guys have electricity down here as well, who's not to say that the sensors were wrong? Hmm. Um, the the person who brought the tea uh, says hmm. something in their, their, their language. But I would imagine it sounds a little more like um, more like it's kind of more like, more like intonations and tones, like long drawn out. Like whale song. It makes me think of I don't know the name of it, but in Star Wars, the the people that use the sign language with the speech in, the speech tones. The sound That's what it makes me. Yeah, those those uh, they have a name. The Tuscan, Tuscan the Tuscans, folks. yes, yes. Yeah, the Tuscans. Yes, um, that's what it makes me think of. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I hear that now. Mm -hmm. um, she nods and she, she she moves over into another room, not run like running away from you or hiding from you or anything. No. Just she's an elder. There's a lot to do. And she goes over, as you kind of come around this corner, you can see a sweaty, unconscious Izalgun bound to a... On first glance, it looks like a stone slab, but you now realize to look past that, and it's a bit more synthetic. With rope, he's bound to it. Um, Are they okay? What? Are they okay? She, she, she looks at you, and then looks back to them, and... Um, takes like a, 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 a rag from nearby and like sort of wipes the sweat from them, sort of. The research station's experiments are having adverse effects on the ecosystem. Uh, uh, I, I, I Puka pulls slot. out a slot. serum of healing Mark II and offers it up. Thank you, but I am afraid that these withdrawal symptoms won't be healed by that. Oh. Oh. The, so... The, is Algun who eat their engineered plants. Develop an addiction for it, and we are trying to break him of his. Yeah, that's why I noticed at the, uh, at the lab, there was um, that rabbit, remember, Chris? Tried to feed it. Had uh, six limbs. Weird. Anyway... It was definitely uh, not naturally interested in that plant life. The evil vegetable. 
else. <laughs> the other one sort of says something walk. to Narma. And then Narma turns to y'all. Uh, she believes that she's identified the addictive protein. And we may have a long-term treatment available for it. That's great. Well, if there's any way we can help, let us know. Why, why would one even want to make addictive leaves? What for? Imagine the money you'd make if you're addicted to their kind of food. Yeah, profit's a big, big push. Yeah, but this isn't just like addiction to food. This is a drug. Are they just making drugs? Potentially in disguising it as food. I think sadly they are. We is that why they tried to kill us when we entered orbit? And Puka I describes so. the alien and the ship that they encountered. She gives full detail. Mm. That was How not, does the order react? So that, that, no, that was not connected with the research. No. Oh. Who mm. was it connected to? Do you know? She nods to the the caretaker and then sort of leads you into another room. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? I have some information that might help you. And I would be willing to share it. If you can evict the scientists from Izalran. Oh, don't worry about that. <laughs> We have a reason to well, well, well beyond oh, just like that. Out of out of out of cut real quick. How many scientists we see? It wasn't just those three. That was like a whole research thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you Couple. cut off the head of the snake. The company just sends more snakes. <laughs> snakes don't like it where it's cold. If you keep it cold, no, the snake wants to we're, go we're there. We're getting too we're getting too deep into snake analogy. The point is <laughs> cutting off the head of the snake <laughs> doesn't make a difference. Um, well, let's ask her. Um, I, that might be a bit difficult. There's an entire facility. We're mm. only four travelers. Not necessarily. We could. I mean, I agree. There's a lot of scientists. However, they came here because they wanted land that was suitable for growing winter crops. So much so, they built a climate adaption device to make it even colder. Which is only hardening be... and extending our winter. So if that was to suddenly, heaven forbid, turn off, or even worse, suddenly start pumping heat out as opposed to cold, they'd have no reason to be here at all. And heck, if it, if it stops the speeding of the winter here, even better. Um, how does she react to, to this? Um... She's listening. Mm. It's... Make a sense motive. Yeah. Because these are her... She has very passive facial features. Mm. Mm. Uh, 21. You're... It, it's... You're having trouble reading her. It's not... Yeah. It's not coming yeah. off as cold, but you are strangers. Mm. And... She has her people to think about. Right. Realize, was that with the plus four? Yeah, it was the plus four. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Try. There um. is... I think I might have a way of trying to shore up some trust. Um, and I think Alistair's going to try and pull out one of the leaves they found. And when you said you identified the protein... Do you have a lab here and maybe give me a half an hour or so? I might be able to help you out with something. We would accept your help, but my offer remains unchanged. Remove the okay. scientists from his Alran, and I will give you what you seek. So you do have the relic. We're not here to cause any trouble. We're not here to harm you or your people. This isn't a situation where we're going to try and take you off your hands. I just want to make sure we're doing this for the right reasons. I know where it may be found. Good. Okay. Oh, good. good enough for me, I guess. 
well, well, just 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 in case, um, even if you were to give us the relic or the information about it, I think we, well, it's hard to say hindsight, but I think we'd really want to help. And um, you know what? It's hard to make promises, but I didn't like the way they were talking about you. I didn't like the way they made assumptions. Uh, just just based on someone, it's just based on how you look. I get that a lot. And I know I use it to my advantage a lot. <laughs> but deep down, it really pisses me off. Good. We are aligned. Yeah. Dumb. I don't, how would they good. smile? <laughs> Good question. Oh. Maybe they don't smile, but like one of their uh, app- some of their appendages make a different movement. I don't know. Mm. Hmm. She like leans back on the the hind two limbs, and the middle ones are like sort of like gorilla knuckles that like can be mm-hmm. walked on, but also like you you've seen them like lean back and use those to like you know manipulate things. Mm. Um, so she like leans back and like puts, you know, clasps her fingers together and just nods. Puka copies mm. the move. Puka, Puka, yeah, the Puka copies the physicality. Even though her arms are a little separated from her legs, she bends down and copies the physicality. <laughs> so, Vic the scientists, we have a trump card. I mean, quite literally, thanks to Puka. Um, we have their security details, which means we should know, assuming that they've not changed it, and this is up to date, we should have a pretty good idea where everyone's going to be posted. Uh, and... Alistair, just mm-hmm. a quick question. Do you have yeah. communications to the society? I mean, I do have... a. I do have a communicator, but the um, issue with that is that it takes one d six days isn't it? to get back to Absalom, yeah. and then it'll mm. take three d six days, days to, come, to back. come back. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Maybe Christ. just in case, let them know we've made contact, and if yeah, they don't hear I'll... an update, yeah. start war. I'll I'll be laid back that so we've made it safely. Okay. Um, and a quick update. Um, quick question: the environmental tower when looking at it was it made of metal yes i know how i can get up there i don't have to enter the facility okay. I, and so... you see you see you see alistair just like clicks his heels with his boots together and all of a sudden he just sort of like magnetically locks like to the metal uh that's next to him i know i bought these for a reason <laughs> that, okay. that is right. ingenious. I could also get up there Ad- without entering. Admitted, ad- ad- admittedly, I didn't think of that at the time. Um, but yes, <laughs> um, we could get up there but without still. entering the facility. Yes. Um, you One see, more you can thing. have difficulty turning them off. <laughs> Norma says. Go on. We would prefer that our advanced technology remain a secret. They'll take it back. I think they leave you alone because of these bad assumptions. I think it's better that- that They actually Mm. maybe do this on purpose to get left alone. I think that's really smart of you. That's a really clever. I wish I would have thought something like that. (laughs) Yeah, she could take it (laughs) us. Um, and with that, I think we'll take our break. Lovely. Cool. Yeah. Okay. After after Krizith makes her salute <laughs> of one one hand behind her back. <laughs> <laughs> Grey Lance, why don't you set the scene for us? Where <laughs> are we? Give us. Why am I setting the scene? <laughs> give us the where, and then. Krizith will give us the how. Okay. Um, I think we're... Is this, is this like a private thing or like a... like a? 
outdoorsy thing. You just, gotta, you, just gotta, you just gotta give us a we're cool in setting. We're in a small courtyard. Yeah, there's a, a small, small courtyard, courtyard outside. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Who's there? Just Grey Lance and Chris Huth? I'll ask Chris Huth. Chris Who's there? Uh, Pokemon Elster can be there. It's not like... Let's, let's say that normally this is a ceremony that is held throughout like uh like dragon kin like um through families let's say that like mm. um um it's normally like a big grand thing that happens but because we are doing this kind of like hasty and all that stuff and also krizith doesn't really care for those ceremonies irreverently Yes, it's very much done like not even ceremonial. Like Alistair and Puka don't have to be there, but mm. they might just be there, you know. Um, it's just that that Krizith will take Greylands aside um and be like, All right, we are um doing our partner bond. What we do is we give each other a piece of ourselves. I give you, and she reaches around to her tail, and she, um, she, um, she uh, takes one of the uh, like spikes that goes along the spine, and one of the spikes already looks kind of like it was gonna fall off, um, and she carefully like kind of tugs at it and then she she yanks it out and it hurts a little bit but it doesn't really seem to like bleed or whatever it was going to fall off naturally anyways um and she takes that and she wraps it in a little uh burgundy handkerchief that she has and she puts it on both of her her paws and she uh, hands it over to you with a slight bow. Um, <clears throat> we lance, uh, very, very stoic, um, reaches out to take, but then he realizes he's got to give her something in return. He like pats himself down. Um, I think he probably would have mentioned to people, but would have said to like stay out of sight. Like he would have wanted to share this with her because it seemed important as well. Um, but what he does do is he um, undoes the label of his, uh, of his armor and it comes away uh, to show that he has this massive scar um, over his chest. Um, just a huge rend. And uh, at the top of this scar are three green dots. And they seem to be some kind of like um, small electrical charge that keeps his, his um, artificial heart pumping. Um, he pulls another one out of his pocket, um, twists it, and out comes one of the dots. You see he like visibly like, you know, has a sharp inhale uh, before he replaces it with another one, uh, puts it in and then closes up his armor. And he hands, uh, passes this thing, which has been, you know, helping to keep him alive as long um, to uh, Chris as well. She takes it and she goes, wow, this is, Far more special than what I gave you. I'm was that too so much? Sorry. I just I wasn't sure. No, how it no, out. please. It was. It's beautiful. I. Oh, yeah, I no, this is lovely as well. Like right off, right off the, right <laughs> off the tail. So, um, cheers. Yeah, she she clasps it. She goes, okay. Now we now we go like this. Right. Okay. We clasp it in our hands. Um, and I want you to to yourself don't have to speak it out loud. Okay. I want you to tell yourself your greatest goal and that you are going to achieve it. Well, that we are going to achieve it by each other's side. Yeah, all right. All right. And, and he... Chrysith closes her eyes. Yeah, he does the same as well. Um... He doesn't speak it out loud. She doesn't either. Um, and then she opens her eyes. 
looks at Grey Lambs. Then she puts out her hand, um, expecting you to. She goes, and now for a warrior's grip. Oh, that I can do. Uh, I, I give her absolutely the uh, the prayer to high five. Was it the prayer no. like the hand clasp? Like the like the this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so when you do that, um, from her arm, light travels like some white light uh, travels around the um, around the middle here, um, almost forming like a um, like a continued bond. Like it's it's a very thin string of light. That just keeps going around the arm until it ha around the arms until it has like created like a net almost um, until it suddenly disappears and it leaves uh, some marks of like almost as if this net was really tight clasped around the the arms right. um, and it leaves marks like that. Um, Probably maybe for a day or two. Um, on, on both of us? Yes, on both of our arms. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't... Well, it's not bad, actually. <laughs> it, um, yeah, it, it goes away in a couple of days. It, it won't last forever. Um, huh. Shame. <laughs> thank you. No, uh, oh, yeah, thank, thank you. This is... This will be a an excellent tactical advantage. Absolutely. And, and also, I I am on a Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Badass. Oh, Christ! Why did you say quiet? <laughs> it's pretty badass. It is. Pretty, pretty it badass, is yeah. And and also, if I can say, like battle and like missions and putting your life in someone's hand you don't you don't get to normally choose who you get to do that with right you don't you don't have to be like lovey dovey to do it gray and i have that but we didn't choose each other but heck is happy he's 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 my buddy in that yeah i think it's pretty damn cool when you get to choose someone first and then you get to have that too yeah. now that you say it like that it is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna get on the comms actually. Um, after where are you? Uh, j j just outside. I've just been standing. Converge here. on my position, Alistair. <laughs> <Nice one. laughs> <laughs> I turn off the I turn off the comms and wait for Alistair to turn up. Um, he turns up quite quickly. Probably just Most wrapping up. Most of standing outside. <laughs> Were you watching? Were you watching us? I wasn't watching. I was looking the other direction. All right. Um, Grey puts his hand on Alistair's shoulder. Um, it's a firm uh, grip. Um, and he says, Alistair, we're going to do this. I'm glad I've got you by my side. I'm glad I've got all of you by my side. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> yes, I, I'm glad. Two. Okay, you give me the double, the double, the manly double pat. Okay, that's a good talk. Good talk, man. <laughs> Please don't bowl me over. Um... <laughs> it's the uncomfortable with too much personal affection. <laughs> yeah. old, old guy. Let's go. All right. Yeah. We have a tower. The camera sideswipes, and not even the snow can muffle the shrieks of steam valves and the hum of electric generators emanating from the steel scaffold tower. Regularly spaced blue signal lamps send waves of blue light up the length of the tower, which, while thick reinforced plastic walls enclose the tower's base like a makeshift fortress. The tower is about, the walls are about 15 feet tall, Sec, I'm moving you all over to a new map. So to be clear, the the facility generates a cold weather front, but the rest mm -hmm. of the planet is 
Standard? Um, the the planet is in its winter season. Mm. Um, but Norma was saying that this this machine has been in in extending and harshening the winter season. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Can you all see? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Really? Yes. We're in the top right. Oh, there's people watching it. Damn it. So indeed, you do see um, four, at least four security guards uh, posted on the top of the walls here. I wonder. The tower is 150 feet tall. Uh, Chris, uh, yes. Could you take me up there? Um. Well, I could. We, however, have some watching eyes. I was more so thinking of me creating a distraction since I fly and am very loud um drawing them all to one side and you climbing the tower in the meantime okay that could work <laughs> if your boots hold it out it's fine it's fine it did not been field tested but it's fine Oh, my God. I'll keep a, an eye out for you. So just brought all this stuff before we go out here. He hasn't had time to... Yeah. I haven't finished reading the instruction manual yet. Uh, they've still got the wrapping on them. <laughs> oh, can I peel off the plastic film? <laughs> <laughs> By all means, go ahead. <gasps> uh... Okay. Okay, I can climb the tower, but... Please, for the love of everything that is religious, if you're that way inclined, please don't let them shoot at me while I'm climbing. I will do my best. I promise to definitely shoot back. <laughs> do you want anyone there up with you for some reason? Um, I should be okay. Huh. I should be okay. I think if you take Puka, uh, the two of you probably have a chance, especially if one, if you have a... Uh, what are they called? Like a, they're not called a hangman's rope, but it's the one you went mm. through to climbers. Yeah. I can just cover your back. I'm a good climber. Okay. Probably right. even, I'm a good climber. Proof and I will distract them down here while you do climb up and deal with the uh, tower. Okay. Okay. Oh. What do you I do? Climbing is all acrobatics, right? Mm -hmm. uh, athletics? Man, I'm no good at it. Thanks. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I suppose then me and Puka should probably go towards the south. Yes. Because that's the closest point we can get behind those rocks before we can get to the tower. Yes, oh, wait, is it, do you say your, your athletics is no good? No. Well, I don't have to climb up. I just have to cover his back. I can, I can stay at the base still and keep it. It requires an athletics track to climb up. But once you're up mm -hmm. there, you have to do an acrobatics track to balance while doing something besides climbing. Right. Well, my athletics is zero. <laughs> with mm, the okay, I okay. have a plus four. I, I could go. I've got I've got decent athletics and acrobatics. No, do that then. I have, I have some range. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'll... Yeah. I'll watch Alice's back then and climb with him, and you guys keep him out. Oh, I'm good. At, I'm good at making a mess. I can make it messy for the guys down there. But um, a question. The others can. So I'm looking at the watchers. They can. Oh my god, what am I trying to say? So there's three walls and three doors. Is that what I'm seeing? Yes. Yes. Got it. And the two that are on the southern walls, they can go off of those walls and up to the north one, right? 
Uh, they would need to climb down and then go over to the other. They can't walk over the gates. Yes, exactly. But they can go on to that. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, you could just climb up it. It's, um... I, I mean, I can fly over it. Can probably, you drop but... me off, Christmas? I'm, I think I will be the main one doing the distracting, and so dropping you off would be, um... Less than ideal, I think. Fair. Um, go distract. Go do it good. I'll do it. Um, I, I, I just need to do one very quick thing. Um, and you sort of see that Alistair sort of like put his hands under his shirt and starts to unplate his scale armor. Um, going, there's no way I'm climbing that in heavy armor. <laughs> no way. You are right um, about that. And just sort of leaves his armor there behind a rock. Hopefully to remember where he put it. Okay. You're going to take your armor off and not... You're, what are you going to wear if you get shot? <sighs> Skin. <laughs> yeah, yes, your, my clothes. I, no, you do, it, this is, listen, Alistair. This is heavy. You get shot with no armor on, you're dead. Are you sure about this? The, I'm sure. The yeah. scaffolding of the tower will give you um, plus four bonus to AC for cover. There you go. Okay, yeah, do you know what? That's actually better than my armor. So, yeah, I'm elected to take my armor off. My armor wow. gives me plus three. So, yeah, I will use the, uh, I will just wear my winter jacket and climb this thing. Lovely. Um, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. On well, the count of three, break. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's yep. what we do. And so Blow they go out. south. Um, while I prepare my wings, um, I kind of get ready. Um, I blow it out, I'll... and my cool red arm has a laser gun. Actually, I think I'll take I'll take Puka with me while I'm flying, yeah. and drop her off like somewhere uh, at the north. Because oh, we are we are together, right? That's why. Yes. Okay. Then I can absolutely do that. Yeah. So I will. Yeah. I don't have to go with you, but just like drop me halfway there. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Okay. I will do exactly that. I will take Puka um, in one of my, one of my fists. <laughs> um, and then I, I just, um, I just go, are you ready? I'm so away. Go. And then I, and I, uh, I start flying over to that side. I would like to move my token. Thank you. So just drop um, me off where you drop me off, and I'll make over you. here. And I'll I'll drop I'll drop Puka over here. I think, or like a little bit more north from that, even though we can't we can't see that. Like um, here, she mean? Yeah, over there somewhere. Okay. Uh huh. And while I come from behind the rock. You just hear uh, a Chrysith go, <laughs> <laughs> Over here, over here, you numbnuts! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I wish this roll 20 window wasn't so oddly shaped, because then I could, like, show things. It's a very, yeah, it's a weirdly shaped map, isn't it? Uh, use our imaginations. Use our imaginations. <laughs> okay, so you do that, and then the other two begin running towards the gate or waiting. Yeah. Let's roll initiative. Okay. Right. Oh man. Better initiative, please, Puka. Better initiative, please, Chris. Yeah, please. Oh, please, better initiative, Chris. Oh. Well, you you are rolling initiative too, so yep. whoever gets the highest, we get Did that. Did you get higher than eight? Yes, yes, I did. Then we're taking yours. Lovely, we're taking 12. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. It's not great, but you know. It'll do it, it'll do it, it's okay. Oh, well, I got two, so. <laughs> Come on, Puka. I got 16. Oh, yeah. Aha, 16. like, please. <laughs> so many things happening at once. <laughs> uh, Alistair to Krizith. 
Mm-hmm. And Great Lance? Uh, 12. Yeah, we got 12. Now that we're pair bonded, we share initiative. Yes. Mm. Whoever gets the higher initiative, okay. we so, take that. So, uh, sweet. Uh, de- 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 Krizith and, and Puka flew off. Before yes. we start initiative, we're in round zero. So, um, yeah, let's. Uh, all four of you will get a chance to act in round zero mm-hmm. before round one starts and the security guards begin acting. Ooh. Oh, that's not right. There we go. I mean... Puka, what do you want to do? Pew, pew. <laughs> uh, I, I did mention Glowy was out, so we're going to uh, shoot. Uh, let's do... What's my range here? Yeah, I'm going to lob both attacks there. It's plus five, because I'm splitting it. Okay. Mm, 16 total. 16 hits. And I'm going to also do my second attack. Does a 10 hit? Probably not. No. Noted. Plus 5. Oof. Cold damage. C, whatever C is. Six points of cold damage. That's right. Finger guns. <laughs> and if 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 Christoph is yelling, Puka is also yelling. <laughs> 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 um, Greylands or Christoph, who wants to go first? Um, Christoph, she's with Puka. Okay, Christoph. Sure. Um. Measure how far away. Ugh. Oh. 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 That's always nice. Oh. Can I? Can I move still on this turn? Or is it? Yeah. Yeah. You did that, and then we kicked off initiative zero. Got it. Okay. So I will move a little bit. Wait. Hold on. If I if I go over here, I might like. Nope. I can go five more feet to the left here. And I'll still be in range of her and also be in range of her if I wanted to. Okay. However, I'm going to focus fire this one with my breath attack weapon. Um, a 30 foot, a 30 foot cone. Wait, what? Oh, it's a 30 foot long cone? Or is it like a... Yeah, it's a cone. But how wide is it then? Uh, Is it a 30 foot wide cone? Or is it a 30 foot long cone? It's 30 foot long. You can only get one person in there unless you move up. Got it. Got it. Okay. You'd have to fly Um, up to like right here and then you could get both of them. Wait, what? Hold on. Wait, where's the tabs? Oh my god, where'd everything <laughs> go? Wait, if I... F- oh, Grey Lance, you should have gone first. first yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I'm you're sorry, right. I'm sorry, okay? I thought it was cinematic, god damn it. Uh, <laughs> no, you're but right. do you see my um, brother in <laughs> Yes, I do see them. Yes. Okay, so... Can I scratch that movement still? Yes, that yes, I, yes, yes, That yes. I did? Okay, yeah, lovely. Do what you need I'll to. fly up to... Yes, I'll fly up to here then. Um... For sure, and then I'll do my breath attack. Okay, I'm making. Which doesn't really need. I'm making reflex saves. Yes, of DC 15. <clears throat> uh, first one. A six. Second <laughs> one. A seven. <laughs> Roll damage. <gasps> wow. Oh God. Ouch. One d six. And they only have. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> um. Oh. That first one only took. One point of damage from your cold, oh. because these are winterborn Rhyforians who were born oh. in the cold and oh. cold resistance. However, fire vulnerable. <laughs> so. Fire's fire's um, different. Should have given you my shot, my um flamethrower. So that's 
11 fire damage. Okay, to both of them. Yes. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, move and main action, and Good. that's it. Yep. Right? Great lands. Yeah. Cool. Right, it's gonna um, nice drive, sir, and we'll start moving up towards uh, the door uh, right here. Okay. Begin your movement. The security guards yeah, are su they... are surprised, oh. so they're not acting. Have they seen us? Uh, they have, so they'll act next round. Okay, cool. In that case, then just gonna nip around here and take a shot on um this guy here. The door is still closed. Would, you, would, would they have to bust the door in soon? If we if we take out this guy, um, in fact, he also um, telepathically speaks to Chris and says. If we can take out these guards, then we can get you guys can get the door open. Or else they can hack it. Uh how would we be able to get the door open? I don't know. Maybe like an open and close switch on a door, I'm not sure. Easy uh computers, engineering, or strength. Sweet. <laughs> and it's a move action. Oh. Uh-huh. Um I'll yes. Uh I hope that the guard on the left side there is also distracted, like on the <laughs> the southwest, the southwest west side. Okay. Um, I got fifteen is distracted. Hit fifteen hits. Cool. Uh, gonna hit him in the face. Five damage. Uh, what's the weapon? Um, fire. It's a if it class frame. Actually, can it hit from here. The flamethrower. Probably not, right? Uh, what's the range? That's an excellent question that I didn't think about before. Oh my time. goodness, y'all. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay? It's been weeks. We're never prepared, please. 15 come on. feet. I'll move. I'll just get closer. Okay. There, 15 feet. Okay, Alistair. Um, I think Alistair is going to move. One, two, three, four. He's going to move to the door. That's doing 25 feet, so he can do that. Um, and he's so he's moved. Can he use his attack action to open the door? Yes. Yeah, then he'll do that. Make a he's computer check. Open the gate. Computers are engineering. Uh, one, two, three, what's the... Uh, 16. Uh, 30. Okay, yeah, it's open. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, these things are wide open now, which brings us back to... So this is round one officially now. It was mm. round yep. zero. Mm -hmm. Puka, who's... Puka, I can't Puka show noticing her on the, the cold, Puka noticing that the cold damage tickled them. It's going to switch to her laser. And I'm going to attack um, that one that's right next to Alistair. And we're going to do two shots. That's uh, plus five. I'm going to Oh no. Oh no. Neither <laughs> oh no. Neither of those. Pew pew. Straight into the air. Uh, I can't. Can I attack again with an extra move action? No, no. Because that's to, to attack twice, you're taking that minus four penalty usually. Yeah, that's why. And then not moving at all. It's a full action. Okay. I'm going to move nonetheless because I can do that once a day. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to uh, noticing that they were hurt very much by Kritu's uh, cone breath I'm going to uh, make it even harder for Kritu, Kritu to see me on the map sorry <laughs> I think I've got just a little bit there that's 30 there we go it's That's edging ever so slightly why is this I just start yelling attention for the one in the back <laughs> Attention! Okay, Krizith. Do I see any of them trying to communicate with headquarters? <laughs> they have not yet started yet. Their turns are coming up. Oh, you are right about this. We might want to kill them. Um, as, as, I think kill them is the best way to go about this one. <laughs> ASAP. Um, so I might, I might let you guys deal with these. If I can, no, I cannot. 
Do you have another so it's button like, in you? That was so cool. Uh, yeah, I do. If you can However, think of this dude here, we can get in faster. Because these guys will be distracted by you either way, which is the plan. That otherwise we're going to be taking on two guys here rather than one. You're right. I will do another breath weapon. Okay. I'm so annoyed at my Get him. Get him. That's how you angle it in such a way that you don't burn. How many of these <laughs> do you get? <laughs> I don't know. How I many think of it's these using, do it's using I get? Oh. Nope. I don't get anyone anymore. Until I regain SP. Oh shit. Okay. So no, no more for me. However, I am like above this wall. Mm -hmm. I can just slide towards them and just at least take one out. Yeah, just, um, out, just pop this dude right out. Spark yeah, him out. absolutely. Um, I will. I will be very up close and personal. And I will. Oh my god! I will use the the thunder strike boom knuckles that I have. Thunder! <laughs> nice. Or Electrovore. <laughs> I'm going to stop giving uh, Inez options. Please, <laughs> stop. Um, because there is a thing that the they can do. No, I can make them either blind or I can just kill them. Don't just, worry just, about it. Yeah, worry about the crits if that comes. There yeah. we go. Um, that's... 17 on the die plus 9, that's 26. That hits. Hit. Lovely. Uh, a d4 plus 11. Oh my god. Oh, don't fall. Ooh. Three, 14 damage. Oh, describe your kill. Love it. I think that what one great lens that Alistair see is just this person being <laughs> flung from the wall. <laughs> just... It's a Wilhelm screen as this guy yeah. goes over Alistair. Uh -huh. Ah! Yep, that's it. <laughs> um, yep. And that that's uh, my attack and move, I guess. <laughs> All right. Gray Lance, the door is open. Cool. Um, door's open. This guy's still around, though. I'm going to jump up here and stab him so Alice can get in there. Okay, make an athletics check. You got it. But, uh, there we go. 13, 17. 17? Uh, I think these walls are... No, it's an easy check. 17 is it exactly, actually. <laughs> uh, they're very slippy, but slippery, but you are able to climb up like below him. It's not elegant, but it does the job. Right. Uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get up underneath him and just like stab him with this, with this sword. Sword daddy, that's, go! <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's 17 again for, um, to hit. That hits. Cool. Then it's gonna be 18 damage. Uh, describe your kill. Uh, just this poor guy doesn't see it coming. I just cut him off with the kneecaps. <laughs> oh! Just climbing up there. I, I, I just steal up. them. <laughs> He's like, what? I just chop his the kneecaps. kneecaps. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The other two, like, begin radioing. Security! Security! We're under attack! God damn it. That's um, exactly what I wanted to prevent. And then this first one is going to come up here um, and take some shots at Puka. With an auto target rifle. Evasive maneuvers. <laughs> 21 versus E <laughs> versus KAC. Miss. Aha, evasive maneuvers. <laughs> I just yell evasive maneuvers really loud without, while not moving to distract it. And then this first one will move here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Move here. Um, is that just within? So they have. Anyone beyond 60 feet is hard for them to see. So this one, she's going to take a shot at Grey Lance for a natural 20. <gasps> oh, oh my god. That's well, fine. He can take a hit. Yeah. Um, It's really not that much. 11 points. Cool. Pussy. Shake it off. 
Yeah. Pussy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fly in here. <laughs> um, okay, Alistair, it is your turn. Um, so Alistair's gonna go one, two, three. Yeah, to the base of the tower and go. Oh, I probably should have done this earlier. Um, sorry, guys. Um, he pulls out a signal jammer and clicks it. Uh, any radio within a four mile radius now turns off and they have to pass a DC 16 check to oh. break through the signal jammer. Damn. Um, All right. Okay. All right. So they might not get a reply back. Um, Wait, we do have to climb anyway. anything? <laughs> hmm? Oh no, for the for the radios. No, yeah. for the radios. I thought you meant, I thought you meant for the whole pile. No. Like, yeah, that's great. We're done. No, nope. no, no. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, that's Alistair's turn. Puka. Gonna shoot at the wall and return the favor with my laser. Single attack because dice are failing me today. Twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. Twenty-one. Incoming fire damage. Me. For fire damage. Okay. And I'm going to take my movement, which was 30 feet. By the way, you're fully attuned now, so any graviton or photon based powers you want to use. <laughs> Get in there. Uh, uh, evil one, app activated. Two, three, four, five. Uh, if I run over here, am I still within their melee range? They're on a wall. They're 15 feet up in the air, so... 15 even. Cool. Uh, that's my full Why is this action. so poorly set up? <laughs> Once I can pretend to be up here, but I'm not. No, 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 I got you. I, 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 find, I found a way to get you in there. I'm just... Okay. <laughs> this... I'm okay not being in there, but that's I, my turn. Roll 20... You... Yeah, it gives me, I don't know. Her, has his we'll, we'll talk Foundry later. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Chris Huth. Oh, yes. Um, I want to, so I, I, okay. As a swift action, I would like to turn, to activate the bright property on my Soprodino disc. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I would like to. So the Sopranino disc. How much range does it have? It doesn't hmm. show me where the range is at. What the? How much range does it have? Probably twenty feet if it's like a thrown weapon. Yeah, it is. Oh, range twenty feet. I'm just one. <laughs> That's fine. Um. So um, let me see. How far is she? Jesus Christ. Um I would like to uh move about 25 feet. So wait, fuck. 10, 15, 20, 25. That must be must be within serious. This person? Oh my god. You'll just take a minus two if you're throwing out of the range. Okay, I'll take the minus two. That's fine. Um, okay, I'll throw it. So, minus two, so instead of plus nine, plus seven. Got it. And you're flying now? Oh. Well, I was flying all the time. Okay, so. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. Plus seven, that's 23 to hit. That hits. Lovely nice. gal. Um, so what is it again? You it got is... Miguel. Yep. Um, so yes. So because the bright effect is now activated, the target must succeed at a reflex saving throw or gain the blinded condition for 1d3 rounds. Okay. <laughs> uh, natural 20, they pass. How much damage do you do? <laughs> <laughs> we got 40 minutes left in the stream, y'all. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> 
Ooh, max damage. Uh, Ooh. 1d4, uh, yeah, 4 plus 11, which is 15 damage. Ooh! Very nice. Pew! Grey Lance. Cool. Um, I'm just going to run over to this side here. I want to cover Alistair. So I'm going to take on this. Oh, it's not moving. Oh, there we go. I want to cover Alistair. Alistair, what is... What can you... How many hits can you take without any armor on? Like, how much do we have to keep this guy off here? I mean, I've got... Is it 35 stamina, 34 health? Right. So what's, I what's could probably take... Uh, my AC. Actually, you know, this is this is all academic kind of character. I'm yes. Yeah, 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 I was about, yeah. I was about to be like. Look, I'm, um, thinking, I'm thinking too much like a bit like it's. Are you gonna shoot uh, or <laughs> or what? I'm running over there. You gonna shoot or can what? I, can I jump over this door? Can I stand this door? Uh, no. I gotta jump over it. Mm -mm. No, you, okay. you, you could jump. That'll be like a DC 10 athletics because you were you had a running start. But there's <laughs> not. I, wait, can I go this dude with a jump? Uh, I'm gonna call that a DC twenty athletics. <laughs> you know what? No, it's not worth it. I have to get hurt. I'm just gonna go with five frame for her. Which is Oh, never mind, misses. Um can I no I moved. That's it, I missed. You missed shooting? I missed with a five, so I did not hit this dude. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, it is their turn. The security guards, they're gonna... I really quick interject. Yes. Um, the Supper Nino disc also causes confuse if you don't succeed on a wheel saving throw. Really? Is that not on the crit? No. I don't think so. It doesn't say on the... that it, it's on... Yeah, that's the a critical. Crit. That's on the critical effect. Got it. Okay. Um, uh, security guards. Okay, so this one's going to take two shots. The, the bottom one's going to take two shots at Grey Lance. 18 and 25 versus KAC. Ooh, that's a no one to know. The 25 does not hit? Sorry, the 25 hits. Sorry, the 25 hits. Oh my god, I was about to be like, <laughs> what? You know what it is? It's that, um, it's that armor I got, the Hell Knight plate armor. Yes. Nice. That's seven points of damage, Grey Lance. Cool. I'm gonna use one and two point to negate five damage of it. Well done. Then the other one will take just two shots of Puka with the auto target rifle. Hello, guys. Uh, thirteen and eight. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Alistair. Um, mag boots on up the tower. Begin climbing. Um, yep. Okay, so we're gonna put put you here. And then I'm going to put these wings on you. Okay. Um, when you see these wings, so you can open open it up. You know how to open up the... Mm -hmm. so when you uh, select yeah. when you select the wings, um, mm -hmm. you'll put a number there. How many feet do you climb up? Uh, da, 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 da. So that's... So is it, same, is, is it the same as my movement speed? Okay. Uh, I believe my movement speed's 30 feet. 30. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. It's going like 30. five turns if it's 100. If it's 150 feet, it'll take me five turns to climb. Yes. So, yeah. So, it's gonna. we're going to put a one on you then okay. for the first round, basically. Mm -hmm. um, well, the next turns, you can uh, take your action to also keep moving as well. So, you double it. That's right. Okay. Uh, you would think it's Puka's turn because it's the top of the round. <laughs> you would think. <laughs> you would think. What do you mean? Ooh, friends. Friends indeed. Friends. Flying <laughs> into <clears throat> view are Spinjack and Farvenzi. Oh, we've got company. Um, <laughs> Farvenzi and Spinjack literally fly up to the wall here. Um, Spinjack's just mounted on the back of his partner. And so he doesn't, he just uses his movement action, and you can see his eyes. His exocortex tracks you, Grey Lance. Target lock! Oh, um, and then he takes his rifle, his Corona laser rifle, um, and just like, and he's 10 feet away, so luckily he's not provoking, um, and shoots 16 versus EAC. No. 
does not hit. L. Far <laughs> L. <laughs> Farvenzi, on the other hand, um, is going to come down here with her Thunderhead Dragon Glaive. Oh, God. Does that have reach? Oh, I hope not. On. You said 25 feet up? 20 feet up? They're about, they're, let's say they're 15 feet up at this point. Okay, so like 10 feet away from Great Lens, potentially. Dragonglaive does have reach. Do I need to be five feet away with a reach weapon? Or does that give me extra reach? It gives you extra reach. Gives you. Yeah, you can still attack. Doesn't it mm. give you 10 feet? Yes. Range? So she, she doesn't even right. have to be that close. She can be here. Look at us in fair play. We're so cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 19 versus KAC. Damn, what no. the fuck? No. That was a natural two. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Y'all real bad as fuck. <laughs> All right, is doing exactly what Grey Lantern is advertised to do. All right, Puka, yeah. your your turn. Shoot the laser. Grey Lantern, don't forget to subtract the stamina point damage that you made. I actually cannot click my sheet. Oh, it's gone. Now it's doing it. Cool. I do that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, Puka. You only have to complain about it, you know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Twelve. EAC. No, you need thirteen. Damn it! I'm gonna keep moving then. This guy is following me. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come and get me. <sighs> That's turn. All right, Grey Lance, you've got a very angry Dragonkin and her partner bearing down on you. Uh, nice, to, nice to meet you. Uh, sorry about this. I'm going <laughs> to... Oh, wait, I can't hit them. I'm just going to flame for them. But I can get both of them in a cone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's a story about this. And then just pulls out this massive flamethrower and sprays the two of them. Okay. For... God, this sheet really is a pain in the ass sometimes. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's fine. Who's yeah, next? Chris, is... prepare uh, your turn. That's yeah, a 14. I know. 14 versus EAC doesn't hit either of them. Okay. Uh, oh, but I haven't moved. Um, can I take another roll with a minus? Uh, no, you would have to call it beforehand. Okay. Because both just... get the minus. Um, in that case, I'm going to hop over the wall. Uh, hop down off the wall. They have to come get me. Okay. What side? Uh, down here, near this guy, so I can handle him if I need to. All right. Krizuth. Can I fly through the tower? Is that a thing I can do? Yes. I can. Yeah. Oh, how lovely. We'll call it difficult terrain. You gotta, like, tuck your wings in close and mm -hmm. dash through it. But she actually has the feature for the tight quarters. The tight fit. <laughs> yeah. I do have tight fit. So, so I don't get the minus five penalty. No, no, no. I mean, difficult terrain, it's just, like, half your speed, basically. Oh. But because of tight fit, it's not? Question. Well, you're not squeezing. Okay. I'll just go around then, because okay. I do want to go completely through. Um, so I will go there and then there. Got it. Wait, where? Okay. Got it. Over there. there. Um, yeah, I'm dealing with her. I don't yeah. have my Sopranino deck. I see Chris is just like come overhead. Come and get uh, me. To take on, yeah, to take on her ex best friend, her ex bestie. I'm just gonna uh, move again to be up close and personal with them. <laughs> do it, do it. Because I don't have my disc anymore. So, five, 10, okay. 15. I'll move. Five. Yeah, I'll move over there. Um, yeah. All right. I'll just, um, I'll just, I'll just stare her deep in the eyes, and I'll just go. Do we have a problem? You bet your ass we do. <laughs> the security guard comes around the corner and like brings down the rifle <laughs> at um, Puka twenty versus KC. Still doesn't hit. Nope. nope. Um, as I'm running. Because like literally like 
smacking her her, her backside at the guard. <laughs> <laughs> and this other guard will just bear down straight uh, on top of Grey Lance and brr, brr, twice. That's cool. A uh, twenty versus KAC. Nope. And uh, natural one definitely doesn't hit. <laughs> Alistair. Uh, straight up, double move, straight up. Okay, so 60 feet up. That's three rounds then. Yeah. Okay, you only two more, and you're at the top. <laughs> it's getting very high now. Um, Spinjack's gonna relock his target onto. Blah, 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 Krizuth. What? And what do you want from me? Shoot with his laser rifle. Boring. Natural 20! Jesus Oof. Christ. That's boring. Uh, <laughs> uh, take 15 points of fire damage and you are burning. It, Ow! Uh, the burninator! What is, what is it for every episode in combat? And Chris is getting some fire. Somehow. I'm getting some oh, yeah, burning. Like actually, Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah. Do I not have like a, a draconic like a immunity? No. That would be nice, wouldn't it? <clears throat> what did she so against taking damage? Enchantment spells. Damn it. Sorry, Chris. What's she taking damage from? The she just took fire damage from a crit from. Fifteen. Fifteen. Spy, oh, spin that's jack. Home. Okay. I can't. It's Malika. It's not an area attack. So sorry. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Farvenzi. Uh oh. Yes. Fifteen damage. Shit. She's got fifteen feet reach because she's large with the dragon glaive. Oh damn. Fifteen foot. And you have ten feet stomach? reach because you're large also. Oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> that's funny. Play, girl. But that's fine. She's going to swipe at you twice with her Thunderhead Dragon Glaive. She has this big old glaive that's powered, so you can see electricity, like, zooming through the glaive's blade. That. Um, I might as well swing <laughs> like twice. It. I don't think the weapon has... Yeah, it's not unwieldy, so I can swing twice with it. Just roll really <laughs> bad. You know, you you've had, every time. you've cool. had this a long time coming, vampire. Vampire? Vemire? Krizith Vampire? <laughs> like a weird Fenvire. school dick. <laughs> Vemvire. Fenvire. Fenvire. You've had this a long time coming, Vemvire. 26 mm. and 30 versus KAC. Oof. Um, Question, why does it say KAC plus 8 here? Oh, that's for combat maneuvers. Got it. Oh, so my is KAC is 19. EAC, because it's electricity and sonic damage. 17. So okay. both of those hit, question mark? The first yeah. one, 24 points of damage. The, sec uh, the, second, the second one, 23 points of damage. What are you rolling? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you rolling? I'm rolling 2d8 plus 14. Is this... Wait, is this against my... Is this... On my stamina, not at my hit points. Stamina course. first. There we stamina, go. First. Stamina, yeah, first, stamina first. Stamina first. My freaking bad. So, I I have forty one hit points still. So I take. You in, are you in your stamina? Twenty four and then twenty three, which together is forty seven. Forty seven. Plus fifteen from the other one. Uh. Forty seven plus fifteen is. 52, oh! 62. <laughs> Puka, your oh, turn. Yeah. 62 minus. F oh, God. Okay, so How's it going? How's zero of that. that. <laughs> running, running, running. Um, that's my 30 feet. And then and, 12. Uh, the pair are flying up. 19. God, I wish I had a grenade or something. So, I don't so have a grenade. 39, so, so 29. I got I it. A grenade? Damn, Stop uh... hurting my friend! <laughs> Black hole, 25 foot radius, pull creatures 15 feet towards me. So that will be... Re Rewilds is behind the wall. Yeah, which I regret now. Let me double check that I can't choose. 
I think it's everyone. You choose which creatures... No, you choose which creatures are affected and which ones aren't. Perfect. I choose Krithus is not affected. Okay, so I roll Reflex or Fortitude? Yes. The DC is 16. This is going to be very easy. <laughs> reflex. Okay, so Far Venzi is going to get... Reflex. Ooh, ooh, she's got a good Reflex. 17. Yeah, nothing happens, I think. Spint Jack. Natural reflex. 20. Damn it. And the other one? The guard. Six. Does, does he get fall damage? When yes. He down? Falls. As I just kind of like... <laughs> pull back. Well, that's that's 15 feet. So that's like 3d6 fall damage. Cool. 12 the points. most damage I've done on a guard so far. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. The that's other two turn. withstand it, though. Yes. Uh, double checking. Chris Uth, you took... 47 points of damage? No, more. 47 plus 15, which is... Uh, uh, no, uh, it's just 23 and 24, so 47. Yeah, yeah but, you were yeah, but the, 15 the 15 from before that, because I took that off my HP instead okay. of my stamina. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Grey Lance, you've got a, a locked door in front of you. Yeah, um, <laughs> did not think this through. Um, is there a way to open it from the inside? Strength, Strength. check, computers, or engineering? Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? Do you have a grenade? Can you lob a grenade over the door? It's only a flash grenade. Okay. Yeah. That's still nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. I'll tell you, tell you what then. Like, if you need help, I can just lob a flash grenade. Do you want me to do that? Cat, yes. Would cool. Greylands know to lob it, like, there-ish? We are yeah. telepathically linked. She could just tell me. And you can see. Yeah. You can see. You are right. Yeah, you're... Cool. Yes, yeah. I would tell you that. Absolutely, mm -hmm. flash grenade coming at you. She's mm -hmm. gonna lob it over the wall. Okay, DC five. It's not super hard. Yeah, yeah. It's like a ticket in between the two. Oh my god! Like... I rolled a five. Oh so, my god! Right. Great. <laughs> okay, they're making fortitude saves. Um. Yeah. It's hold on. Um. Get blinded. Yeah, DC 12. Oh, yeah, Farvenzi has a plus 12 to her. Oh, no. But Spinjack doesn't. 17, though. Hmm, okay. Uh, you still have a move action? You want yeah, to try I'm these doors? Try yeah, I'm going to try these doors. Let's make, do a, make a strength check. You got this. Oh, wait, it's not that. Okay, it's 20, but not that. And plus 4 to 24. The door opens. The door gets opened. <laughs> yeah. I can hear the I can hear the I was fighting on the side and I just like force it open myself. I go, where's the fight? Krizuth, you're on fire. You take two points of fire damage. Um so that's uh, twenty-seven now. Okay. There's so many things, special abilities to choose mm. from, and I hate it. Um, <laughs> um, I, I am going to, as a full action, as a standard action, as a standard action, make a melee attack versus one foe on hit, make extra attack versus a foe adjacent to the first and still in your reach. Please, I'm going baby. to do that. Jack, to move down, right? Or do you reach from the wall? Uh d oh, they're they're down there. No, they're flying. They're they're both parallel. Okay, perfect. Lovely. Then I I will do that exact thing. I will make one. <laughs> so this first one, which one is it against? Uh, Z. <laughs> Carbenzi, got it. Yes. Okay. Okay. So 17 plus 9. That hits. Lovely. So 1d4, <laughs> real quick. Is that, is that guy still alive? Yeah, but he's ah. kind of... He, we'll leave him alone, I think. He can't save so uh, he he so for 13, help. He can shoot 13 Alistair. damage okay. um, on Farvenzi. And then I'll do another attack. Um on 
the guy. <laughs> Spin Jack. Whose name I've yes already forgotten. Uh, and 13 the one that she plus like nine. <laughs> that hit. That hit. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, three plus eleven, so uh, fourteen damage. Okay, they both take some damage. How lovely! This security guard is gonna climb down. Oh, it was five, ten, fifteen, twenty. We'll come is here. Is it only on a? Is it only on a crit that I can, like, push them? Uh, yeah, it, it might be. Um, yeah. 13 as it shoots against Grey Lance. That's not going to hit. Nope. This other one stands up. That might provoke an attack of opportunity, but Poku, you don't have any melee weapon. Can I punch? Uh, like, like an unarmed attack. You could do an unarmed attack. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to strike. Why not? Uh, you got all those hands. You might as well <laughs> use them. Punch him six yep. times. 17. That hits. Yes, finally. That is a uh, 1d3 plus 5. Legending. 6. Okay. 6 points of non lethal damage is still damage. Um, it's They stand up and. Oh, you little. Uh, and they pull out a tack lash. Uh, which is sort of like a, a non-lethal lash, essentially, um, and just kind of whip down at you. Let me see what the rest. Uh, fifteen. Nope. Not gonna hit. Nope. Alistair, you made it. I made it. Yeah, all the way to the top, maybe. Slowly but surely. Well done. Uh, Good job, Alistair. That is your nice turn. Um. We need to get some movement up in here. They're gonna come around. <laughs> so just a five foot like step this way. Um, as he's still focused on you, he's gonna. Oh oh oh, Krizith. Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot. What? <laughs> what? Make a reflex save to see if your fire went out. No. Oh thank God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's that's fine. Is my reflex save any good? <laughs> Probably you not. It. You can reflex this. I don't even know where it is. Oh, plus two. Natural 20. Oh my yes, god. We so, go. okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so uh, dead. Does a, does a barrel roll midair and just goes out of yeah. fire? Yeah. <laughs> a Star Fox barrel roll. Yep. <laughs> He's gonna Don't go barrel. ahead and take a shot at you, though, with his Corona laser rifle. Co corona? <laughs> <laughs> How Not insensitive the nowadays. <laughs> yes. the um, Are you trying to put us all in lockdown? 16 versus EAC? Versus EAC? No. Okay, you, that's a miss. <laughs> and... Farvenzi, oh, she says, I'm going to put you down. Um, and she's going to swing. 22 versus KAC. Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. yeah. For 26 points of damage. That is me on one health? Who got? One singular health? Hey, tell me, they're, fly they're up, right? They're flying They're up? flying, yeah. Is this rock something I can just go up for elevation? Can I spend movement as well? Yeah. Okay, I don't care about this guard. I'm gonna, I need to get under meet them and even if it's on the rock okay that provokes from the guard aware natural 20. I'll, I'll mm. eat it wow wow yeah. wow why are these people <laughs> so good uh eight points of non-lethal damage that's against my stamina correct yes okay and i climb up this rock so that i hope i am within 10 feet of them. Okay. And I release my solar flare. Oh. Okay. Well, shit. 
I don't, know what the, I don't know what the hell that means. As, as I get up, I'm like, stop hurting my friend. And uh, <laughs> they need to make a reflex save DC 16, but they get damage even, they get half damage even if they succeed. Farvency. And Spinjack. Come on. Mm. Miss them all. <laughs> What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Here, here, here. Uh, Farvenzi, that was a 19. Oh. That's half damage. Spinjack. Ooh, nice. Is 13. Fails it. Nice. 66. Ooh. 19 fire damage. Okay. Ooh. As it just kind of burst out underneath them. Stop! And it's like, <laughs> Puka <laughs> glows up and like this aura 10 feet around her just expels out underneath so on a failed 19 on a success half damage all right so they this nice. fire licks their bottoms um <laughs> and it's gray lance's turn oh um i'm gonna dive in um by um yeah right there by chris i'm gonna stab her with a serum of healing Ooh. she's in the air okay okay oh she's in the air I am. She's 15 feet up on the wall and in the air. You know what? That's cool. I have. What the hell are they? Can you hardcore up with an with an I've actually, got jump, no, I've actually got jump boots. Um, hold on. <laughs> I took it. I took a major go for a laugh, and uh, I guess they can work out. <laughs> oh heels. my god! <laughs> Foster heels. I get. Um, I can jump 30 feet up. <laughs> you do that. Cool. I just run up. Find up. Um, and I jump 30 feet in the air and. Give her what is that? Two D eight. Two D eight. One second. I'll go on the um, yeah. Two D eight. Oh jeez, really? I give her two health. Oh. Uh, oh my god. Chris, <sighs> sorry. Two health. Bah, it's double ones. What do you do? It's fine. Don't worry about it. Ah. Uh, two health is two health. Okay. Um, I would like to attack her with my thunderstrike boom knuckles. Okay. Um, and I would I would like to um use awesome cacophony, which is after I've resolved the attack, um, as part of the full action. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah. Attack. Oh, God. Are there rerolls in this? No. No. Actually, I really hate to ask, but I just read it. It's 3d8. Can I roll one more d8, please? Yes. Thank you. Oh, lovely. I'll get I don't one. Think it's this, fine. Uh, I don't think this is going to hit. Uh, 15? On Farvenzi? On Farvenzi, it does not hit. Okay, you got a five extra. All right, so, so. but five extra nice. XP. Can I do? I can do. I can do two attacks, right? Oh, but then it's plus five, which still doesn't hit. But right, it's right. fine. You gotta call it. Um. Do I have to call it before? Can yeah, I because have a second because, attack right because now? both attacks get a minus when, when you call it. Mm. It might be better if you back off and handle like maybe it's the last guy or something, just so you can heal up. If you can grab a five You've foot got your step, own serum, right? Will she provoke it? Not with a five foot. Hmm. Self preservation girl. We can we can it. keep her busy if you wanna if you wanna back off. I don't I really don't have anything to heal with either, so like I don't I'm like I'm But they'll provoke uh Grey Lance and I, so they'll keep getting hit. Oh wait I way. do. Yeah. I w I do. Okay. I w I will take a uh, a five foot step okay yes. she's got that 15 foot reach so oh god right yeah. um and That's even worse funny. there's a security guard um, coming up from behind uh, can, can i, I... Oh, oh sorry <laughs> wait a minute Before... wait a minute we're, we're, it's, yeah, still, on, it's still my turn hold on hold on i did one action i did a move can i apply a serum of healing uh is that a thing i can do is that like a free item it's, a, it's an that... it's an action got it okay then I will. Then that's my turn. Okay. You did have a move. Now, if you want to grab a five foot step. 
I did. I did do a five foot step to left. Oh, okay, got it. Now comes the security guard from behind, shooting at you with the tar- the rifle. Not, not, not a Puka who's been like flashing her ass at him. <laughs> She's been provoking him. Does the god want? Puka no, he sees the weak. He sees the burnt dragging up in the air. Twenty-four to hit. Damn it. Oh. Yes, that hits. Uh, six points of damage. No. Brings you down. I'm going to use mitigate and reduce it yes. by five. By five? Oh, yes. Yep. You're mm-hmm. right. Yes. So yep. I had eight. So I still have two. Got it. What the fuck, y'all? Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> tack lash from the other security guard on Puka <laughs> with a 20 does not hit. <laughs> All right, Alistair. Um, I am not going to touch that climate control. Question, that big ass glaive, is that a powered melee weapon? Yes. Mm-hmm. I am shutting that shit down. Alice is gonna look down and overload her glaive. Ooh. Uh, so for nice. one turn, it just explodes in energy and is unusable for one turn. It's the oh. end of my next okay. turn. Okay. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, how far? There's no range listed on it. As far as I'm aware, as long as I can see it, I can overload it. Okay, and there's no... <laughs> DC associated with it? No DC. No DC. I just look at it and it turns off. Okay. Only That's turn. lovely. So. I was going to say, because we're really running low on time, mm-hmm. if you want to end the fight by destroying the... Okay. The, the, yeah, we'll do that instead. The, how do y'all feel about that? That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, okay. Because yes. that's the main the main goal here. Mm-hmm. So, Alistair... We're just busy. Describe how you bring this this combat to an end um i think alistair just sort of gets up to the control panel and sort of looks down to get everything going on and it's just like well no time to really be delicate about this is there and just starts basically mashing like override codes and eventually like the whole tower just starts to sort of like hum and hum and hum um as he sort of goes for the overload uh, effect so rather than use overload on the staff he's going to use it on the tower um, which might not be smart because he's standing on it, but um, yeah, it's like a massive pew pulse of energy. Okay. Um, okay. Um, there's a great big flash of light as everyone sort of goes flying at this point. Is this okay? Do you guys mind if I do this? Just because we're... Mm-hmm. Yes. Go for it. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, uh... It, uh, as everyone goes flying, um, and when we come to Dr. Monsilkis is standing on one side of the clearing. Uh, let me let me change things up <laughs> with the, the Rhyforian scientists and security guards on the other side of the clearing. Oh, that's not right. Um, are the Izalgoons led by Narma who came to see with this big thing um, the four of you sort of like come to Farbenzi and Spinjack are unconscious as well as the rest of the security guards and Dr. Monsilka says what in that the, what in the world what have you done you from hurting people but we're not hurting people we're we're studying we're doing science no you're not okay let's backtrack a little bit remember that the doctor's been in a bit of the dark about what's really going on here a little bit right so this is a little more complicated than just good and bad you your security associates have been hiding some details about this operation from you work you're doing is affecting not just your experiments but also pretty much everything in the local area we came across a well i'm sure the the for anything to tell you what happened here and also who's got a laptop me yeah you think you'll find yeah. plenty of evidence uh evidence right here i i does you start to show her the stuff she's like ah well i uh can you? Who wants to roll a diplomacy 
Me. <laughs> Go for yeah. it. Either of us, we'd have a we'd have a ten. We, I think we both have tens. Do you we? got tens? I have a ten. You've got a ten. I got a ten in diplomacy. Everyone, go ahead yeah, and roll diplomacy. And we get oh, yeah. four. Or bluff, or intimidate, better. or life science. Oh, okay. <laughs> intimidate, you say? Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> I rolled a nat um, one, total fifteen. That's a nineteen diplomacy from Alistair. Uh, that's a twenty-four. Intimidate. Thirteen intimidate. Yikes. <sighs> you are injured. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's my excuse. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. my excuse. She says, "I still, as be it as it may, that this my work. We've we've done so much here. We would require proper compensation for, for leaving things as they were, and for destroying our property and stealing things." Yeah, you can take out with the stuff on society. And while you're at it, you can tell them about how you've been uh, poisoning the local fauna and flora. What compensation do we get for orders to kill uninvited guests on site? That's an excellent point, Puka. Well, I suppose... I mean... Uh, uh, there's just no... There's just no speaking with villains such as you. We shall take our leave, but... Rest you be assured, my lawyers will be hearing of this. I'm pretty yeah. sure they'd like to hear about the unauthorized terraforming. Uh, I don't... <sighs> and she sort of just, <laughs> just leaves. Um, some of the Rhyforians go, they're sort of like, can we take Spindrak and Farvensi? Are you... Like, they go to, go to like, take I got, them. I, I looked at, I looked at Krizov. <laughs> I just, I nod to them, but before they do, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I think I'm like, <laughs> I'm like holding myself in shambles, I think. Um, I just, I just look at Farvenzi, I go, why? She looks up at you. Oh, man. I said my goodbyes. Do you hate me because I am aspiring to greater things? Greater things than we were? Greater than me. Greater than us. You left. We are equals. We are cut from the same cloth. We could have been so much more. Yet you aspired to be allied with them. I hate you. You do not get to hate me. I'm not just allied here. I have a patron who sees the greatness in me that you can't. You are clouded by delusions. I hope to never see you again. I well, swear to God, there will not be much left of you. <laughs> Assure that. She looks at you. I think it's you who needs to be worried if we meet again. And Spin Jack sort of just like, and leads her away. I I go to I go to punch. I, her. I, hold, I hold her back. I hold her back. As Christoph goes to punch, who go for flavor? That's not how it works at all. We'll turn on her gravity revelation to make Christoph's punch heavier, while the others are also weighed down by uh, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, and so she does punch, but she completely misses because Greylands is holding her back. Um, and, yeah, I think but she does like, feel that swing go a little harder. She's like, "Ooh!" <laughs> it, it like whispers yeah. the back of his neck. He doesn't get hit, but he like feels it. Mm. 
I think Alistair sort of like uses his target lock to sort of lock on the spin jack, but isn't like disguising the fact that he's doing it. Is kind of go, don't forget, I can lock too. <laughs> I think we're just about done here. Mm -hmm. um, actually, Krifu, is the elder there? Yeah, so after they leave, Norma comes up. Thank you, she says. I, I believe that, right. that tea you served us last time, it was wholesome and natural. Can we have another cup with you? She nods. And we got a little montage as we have another cup. And as you, they, 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 they escort you back to the ship because they know mm -hmm. that the, you're, you don't have any friends left here at the, the research station. Good point, yeah. Um, she asks one one more time, please, please keep our life here, our way of life, a secret known to you only. And then hands Puka a handwritten star chart. Ooh, and a lock. Bearing a black X <laughs> over a small moon in this solar system. Ooh. Okay. Uh, uh, Puka gives whatever information <clears throat> they have if they want to. <clears throat> If they if they have some means of covertly contacting us, like uh, we didn't exactly make friends back there, well, we could have handled that better. But um, I think we'll do what we can, and maybe you'll come to trust us to maybe share details with other trusted people. But we won't because that's what we said. But maybe that will change, and you can, you can get more allies. Okay. But for now, it's just us. She nods. And then we see the Pegasus take off and into space. Um, back to Absalom Station to report our findings to First Seeker Luazi El Sebo. <sighs> Goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> We're going to need lawyers. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, everyone. <laughs> so, if we had rolled better on the diplomacy, intimidation, whatever, we could have had a cautious friend. You could have recruited her to the society. Yeah, but. But with only one, oh. with only one success, she demands the only reason, the only way she would leave, is by yeah. accepting money. Mm. But. Like with the because you destroyed the the thing, it also mentions that any if, if any act of violence or destruction immediately like has them flee and gives you infamy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, love it. Cool. So, love it. Like I me, wasn't yeah. infamous enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's kind of cool, and I really like. It is. It this you've made an enemy We're with the Frostro Corporation. Oh, we totally oh. did. Man, I, they, can send, they can send um, Chris's jilted lover back off us. <laughs> I hope they do. <laughs> In the post credits scene, we come up on you all a week later in the First Seeker's office. <clears throat> the First Seeker. Hi. Well, our responsibility as Starfinders is to share our findings with the Pact Worlds. But doing so in this case seems like it would be a, a violation of the Azalgun's wishes. I can provide counsel, but in the end, I, 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 you are the ones who interacted with this culture. What is your official recommendation? Leave them to it. I don't think it's our business to introduce them to the universe before they're ready. I say let them be. Well, they've actively expressed their wish to be left alone. And I think not only that should they be left alone, I think that that choice should be defended actively. Mm, well said. 
Starfinder Puka, I will log your official recommendation. They, Please. They are, uh, they are very uh, reserved. Uh, they like nature very much. And I think we would be uh, the first choice for any sort of contact. They expressed uh, dislike in talking to anyone else. Mm. Your report and findings will be logged within secure Starfinder channels, but I'll make sure it remains sealed to the rest of the Pact Worlds. Mm. I think Alistair also deleted all of the navigation and scan data from the Pegasus. Mm. So for all intents and purposes, it was like the Pegasus was never there. Okay. Wow. Will... Take a look at this star chart and call you back when it's time. But for now, get some rest. You've earned it. White. Chris, first beer's on me. You look like you need it. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, partner Partner of mine is my partner too. Mm. And that. Welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> And that is the end of our episode. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Total. <laughs> um, thank you so much for playing today, everyone. Um, yes. Let's. Thank you for running. Uh, <laughs> we will be back in two, in three weeks. Three. Um, <laughs> for a little check-in, a little discussion about our, how our, our campaign's going before we break for the winter. Next week, you can see me and Hedgehog back here um, as we're playing in the commencement, finally, uh, after the, all the rain checks, <laughs> um, in which we see a new class of Starfinders, like level one, kick it off. Um, yes, but until then, let's do a quick run around, Inez. Where can we find Hi. you? <laughs> Hello, it's me, your friend Inez, who, like, uh, in the end, had a very emotional episode. <laughs> I think I, this is like the first time that, like, with a character, I feel like actually, like, hurt about this, like, mm. disconnection, like, between this old friend. Like, she thought she could make, make up with Provenzi, but seems like this is not the case um and i think that's like wow that's insane um i think it's a good thing i think it makes yeah her yeah i think her new boss very is cool. a very evil corrupting influence yes no absolutely <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's i short, think so too it's short jack he's just he's i just think she's i think she's working her. for the devil the devil <laughs> pictured as a man in a suit with a suitcase um there we go but we did um, fight the devil there you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, um, my name is Inez. You can find me everywhere on uh, XX Succubus GFXX, um, and those are uncapitalized X and then a capitalized X and then a you, you understand. You understand the MySpace days, all that stuff. You know. Um, I am now also over on Hive. I think that is where everyone is moving. Yeah, um, I see pretty much like the place right now. Yes, so I'm I'm on there. If you want to see what goes on in the spring, <laughs> <laughs> then go there. Um, on Twitter, I still post like the going live links and stuff. If they are still over there, if they move to Hive, it's over there. Um, yeah, so Twitter is kind of active. TikTok is active. Hive is active. Um, so I, I repost the going live links, of which I will be in Wednesday. I will be back on the YouTube channel for Lightfoot Vogue with Vampire the Masquerade. Mm. And let me tell you, little sneak peek, this is going to be one of the craziest episodes that I've ever done. <laughs> so please come watch. It's going to be insane. I'm not going to tell you what happens. I'm not going to tell you what happens, <laughs> but it's going to be crazy. And I want you all to be there to experience that because it's going to be insane. Um, yeah, I'll be playing my two favorite vampires, uh, Letitia Dauphine and uh, and Diana. Um, and yeah, it's going to be really cool. Uh, they're, they're both very sexy and very tall. <laughs> and 
wield weapons that are really cool. So, <laughs> and wear suits and like, you know, they're just girl bosses just playing around, you know. Um, and then I think that's it for this week. Um, on Thursdays, every two weeks, not this Thursday, but next Thursday, I'm over on on Horde of Tales playing uh, Demons 12, Occult Eye. Um, where I play Colin, the Void Demon, who is very interested in all the things and very goblin-like. Um, so if you want to see me play a character like that, that's very goblin-like, go over there. It's fun. It's cute. Um, that's it. I love you so much. Awesome. <laughs> Pan. Hey, I'm Pan. Uh, you know what's up. I'm coming to get you. No one can help you. Um, I'll be there soon. <laughs> it's over. I'll be there soon, he said. <laughs> I'm on the I'm wave sorry. right now. I'm in your walls. <laughs> I'm good now. Um, but no, I um, I can be found everywhere. I, still on call. I too have gone on to um, a bunch of other sites. Just see what's up, you know? Um, Hive, Pillow 4, Co-host, Tumblr, blah, 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 all the stuff. You can check out my Twitter anyway. If it's not gone, you can read it there. Um, that's about me, really. Um, this was a this was a very cool episode. I know it, it, it got a little bit tight towards the end there, but... um. It was nice actually. Cool. Everything in is like, like work through um, the stuff with Chris. So uh, good times. Thanks. Hedgehog. Hey, uh, I'm Hedgehog. Uh, Hedgehog UK on nearly everything that you can think of now because apparently branching out is the future. Um, I can't guarantee I'll be active anywhere because I'm still waiting to see where all the dice land. Um, Possibly, it uh, looks like Hive, um, even though I may try and hold on to Tumblr. Um, in terms of stuff, oh, okay. This Thursday, assuming the schedule doesn't break another time, because I have got really unlucky on scheduling on Thursdays at the moment with my players, um, it should be the finale of Escape from Paradise City, um, which were 8 p.m. GMT. Oh, nice. uh, so if you're free, uh, pop in and have a watch. Uh, it's been really good. Uh, it's a shame I had to cut it, cut it off uh, earlier, but mm, it is what it is. So we're going to go out with a bang. Um, yeah, Monday's uh, obviously still here. Um, looking forward to the commencement. Get to play level one character. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, and then we've got December. The only thing I have now in December are my Saturday games, but I will leave that to Kreefu to talk more about because that's more of a mana pot thing. Um, but that's that. And Ida. Hi, I'm Ida. I pronounce her she and her. And this was a, a fantastic episode. I love I love seeing the character mm-hmm. development of my fellow party members. Cute. And I get a little bit of puka chaos in there. <laughs> uh, you will find me tomorrow at Horde of Tales at 7 p.m. GMT. We are, con- are f- continuing it, our D&D Eberron uh, campaign. And I am equally chaotic, but I'm a little bit of a bully. I'm a bit mean. I'm a bit uh, nasty and manipulate and I like doing it, and I look hot doing it. So. <laughs> that's that, that, that's a little bit vibe. of an understatement. <laughs> a little bit of a vibe there. So that that that's me tomorrow. Um, coming up, not this weekend, but the week after, I'm going to be playing in a campaign of Brinkwood at hmm. 5 p.m. Uh, GMT starting Saturday, the 3rd of December. And we're going to go on a few weeks holiday break until... January, maybe February. And that's uh, an amazing table. We're going to have um, uh, uh, Diane from for, for Roll of Good. We're going to have um, KP. We're going oh. to have. Yeah, we're going to play KP. Wait, oh my God. <laughs> uh, Lawful Geek, Gloss and Gadgets, another uh, UK POC uh, player, Trooper. Mm. It's going to be amazing. So I'll probably mm. tweet more about that. Uh, I am still on the Twitters. Uh, this white block is a uh, hive crashing, so I'm trying. Oh, no. No. Oh. My phone is too old. I can't. I can't. It does not. So when hive not has yet. desktop, I will uh, be on more places. But for now, I'm still on the bird app. Okay. Um. Yes. I will be back here on Monday. I'll be a player. Will uh in the Starfinder game. Cairo and Rustmore will be GMing us. Um, and it should be a good, good time. I'll be playing a Verthani, like Dr. Monsilkis. Um, Don't hate us. No, this Verthani, <laughs> he's a, 
well, I don't think he's nicer, but he's a augmented soldier with a big metal arm. Um, and yeah, we'll see. How, it's going to be a good time. So I uh, hope to see you here next week. Um, in the meantime, stay tuned for the raid. We're going to go over to Javen Fox. Yes, They're also playing. I was hoping you would be. <laughs> They're also playing Starfinder. And oh, um, cool. yeah, everyone, thank you again. Uh, next two weeks are commencement. Week after is fun times with us. So <laughs> yay! Fun times. Have a great night, See everyone. Later. Bye bye. Okay, bye. Be good raiders. Be good raiders. Be good raiders. Yes, sir. Yeah, sure.